There's no re there's no reverse psychology to it. It's so good. Fuck. I yeah. That'll just be what all our streams are called. Hi everybody. We are now we are now live. Say hello, Bailey. Hello. It's me, Bailey. It's I'm here for, for the for the stream. It's it's our friend yeah. Bailey who just he yeah. told me he just got out of the shower, so I'm going to assume he's naked right now. This is how he games. I'm not. I'm I'm clothed. I'm cl I'm fully clothed. I well, I wish I could game naked. Yeah, if I yeah. had a comfy, a big cushy gamer chair, maybe. Yeah, you know, Bailey actually says but, uh, he he prefers to game in the primordial form, just him and the computer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a monitor. I don't have a monitor. I stick my dick in the in the hard drive. I'm I'm running purely off of base instinct. How God intended us to play video games. Bailey again. fucked the computer again. <laughs> Son, this is the last time. This is the last time we get you a computer with a, a CD thing. <laughs> the SSD stands for uh, suck dick. I don't know. I don't know. Super I'm sucking smart. dick. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Solid state dick. Solid state. Solid state. Suck dick. Oh, maybe suck solid. No, whatever. This, suck a this solid, solid state dick. I don't know. Solid. Oh. <laughs> yeah, get, let's get out of this bit. <laughs> let's let's leave this. <laughs> so I've seen you've been you've been playing um, cyberpunk. I have. Uh, it's good. It's it's it barely fucking runs on my computer, but it's good. Good, good. It's it's like I play I played it a bit. It's like I'm so glad the world got to experience like Slav Jank. Just something that's like really oh, good. Yes. Something that's very good but is also kinda terrible. <laughs> it's like it's one of the most busted games I've ever actually enjoyed. It's when I like <sighs> when I got into New Vegas, like all the patches and shit had come out. Mm-hmm. And, and stuff like you know uh and there were like mods fixing a bunch of shit yeah, cyberpunk yeah. is me experiencing new vegas 1.0 oh my god um, did you play this game when it came out like when it released oh no so basically no, no, I didn't. so basically this game just fucking it was an adventure you just had quests that you couldn't finish and you just had characters disappearing all sorts of amazing shit happening <laughs> just you see that's like you know, the game the game was busted, and in a couple years, everybody fucking loved it. I mean, I think everybody loved it, like, upon release. It was just because it was fucking busted is why people didn't like it. Oh, man. No, this... <sighs> if you've played this on console, it still hard locks. It will still... Oh, yeah, I yeah. Have, I have. And the PS3 version basically just runs out of memory because the PS3 doesn't have that much. So basically, yeah. you play this you play this to, like, level 30, and the game's just a slideshow. Oh yeah, I remember uh, Skyrim, uh, and it still does that on PS3. Is if you if your save got too big, it just stops. Like, it just stops running. Practically get down to the point where you can't play it. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, did we kill Mr. House last time? Let's, let's kill Mr. House. Cyberpunk is doing the same thing, by the way. It 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 literally like today it was discovered that if you if you are like. If you stuck enough skill points in crafting and your save file got big enough, yeah. It just the game would stop working. Fucking hell. Which is fucking incredible. Is the chat working for you? I can't see anything in the... Chat. Yeah, it's working. Oh, maybe it's just... Somebody said... Oh, I think it's just my I mean, phone. It's not, working. it's not working on stream. It's not working, like, in the, in the little... Oh. Screen, but it is, it is working on the side. Okay, cool. Hang on. I'm just gonna... I'll try and... Uh, oh, well, maybe we just haven't got that many. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Hang on. I will get the... Chat box. Yeah, there, there we go. There it is. There's the chat box. Perfect. 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 It's working as planned. It's yes. working. <laughs> it's working as planned. You got the spice. <laughs> have you been watching, uh, have you been keeping up with Yik? Yik? Oh, fuck, dude. I'm so, oh, fuck. Honestly, when that, because I knew about that game when it was coming out. Mm -hmm. There was like a... They were like, I think there was an IGN or a GameSpot video about Yik before it came out. Oh yeah, they were gonna save the genre. Yeah, it was, it was, or not, no, it was, it must not have been IGN, but it was like some, some like fucking YouTube video that I watched. It was like a fairly large channel and it was talking about like, you know, how the game was gonna be like the next, uh, the next Undertale type. 
If you like Undertale, you'll love Yik. You'll love Yik. Uh, which is incredible. I mean, There's I, so many games like that now. People think that are that just dog shit. They're just garbage. Undertale basically came out and like raised the bar because I think if Yik had come out before Undertale, it would have been like a, maybe a little bit better received because the standards were lower. And we're like, wow, yeah. this game is this game is doing things we've never seen before. This game. There. Are... <laughs> I just I can't believe that there are like hour long essays of of for Yik. It's that's the only joy you get in the game, is like talking about oh, how yeah, fucking it bad Kotaku. it is. Oh, of course it was it was Kotaku covered uh, covered Yik and at Pax. Oh my god! Oh my god! This, this is gonna save the game. Uh, this is gonna save the gaming industry. This is, indie games are the future. Indie games are the future, and they're gonna suck your dick. You don't even know it yet, but you you boot up the game, and it's already sucking your dick. The guy, the guy who uh, is is speaking for Yik at the at the booth looks like the the prototypical new male. Oh God! <laughs> he's got the the chin. He's got the the fucking slouch. Oh. His hair is like a douche. He's got like the douchebag cut. Speaking oh, of speaking of new males, uh, let's let's send a prayer to Drommel in these trying times. He's gone viral again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh it's lord. Fucking, oh my god, I hate I hate reading that shit. It's all It's I don't think oh I can god. be gay anymore. Jesus Christ. I'm like oh. <laughs> I feel would, bad for everybody that had to go or just read, accidentally ended up reading through that uh <sighs> that whole thread. It's truly horrific. Her horrifying. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll grow my hair out and then I look at that thread. I'm like, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> I think you look good, my my man. Yeah, my man. What well, like like I am? Honestly, you're just like a you're a, you're a handsome guy. I think you I think you work with a, a short haircut. I don't know if you'd work. I think you would probably work with a long haircut. I don't know. I don't know. My, my hair grows fast. With the, with the short hair. Yeah, I've always kept it kind of short. Ooh. So maybe I'll, maybe okay. How did you? How long did it take for you to get the floofy look? Oh, uh, bro. Um, I, you know, because I had it um I had it chopped like. Probably before the summer, mm -hmm. like a, a week before the uh, yeah, sometime before the summer, and it was like so short. I remember, yeah, because I was doing a I was doing a uh, a musical for my high school, <laughs> and they had me they had me cut my hair and um, fucking it was so it was it looked horrible. Whenever my so the main reason I want my hair long is because my ears are huge, uh -huh. um, and people. People would make people call me an elf. Uh, <laughs> <but> <laughs> fucking awful. But um, oh yeah, somebody and somebody said that because uh, one of my one of my earlier posts was that picture of me in the Evangelion uh, crop top. Yeah. And somebody said that I somebody stole that picture and said that they they were doing a an elf cosplay. <laughs> and I was like, my ears are just big, you ass. I thought you were doing elf cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> my, ears are, my ears are like um the type that like come out like uh like your fucking rear view mirrors oh no your side your side mirrors um they look fucking weird but you know whatever who cares i've got long hair and it looks good um, it does look good i just gotta pray i don't go bald oh oh god you know, some guys some guys be looking pretty good good bald most uh you know the Russian, the the Russian guy with like the the beanie and that type of look. <laughs> not bad. Bailey's not gonna bad. go bald in a year. I am not gonna go bald. I will kill myself. Oh my god! That will be the end. You just have like a permanent beanie on. <laughs> Everyone's just like, yo Bailey, yo Bailey, post dome. <laughs> Yo, Bailey, post your head. I will, I will be so upset if my head goes bald and I still have to shave my entire body. I'll just stop. I'll just quit. It's the world's I'm smoothest stop twink. Doing that. Dude, I don't know why. Why do, why do fucking chicks shave their head entirely? Why do women even do that? They do it because they, I don't know. That's, that's like, all right, you want to see a train wreck? Here is a train wreck kind of thing. That's when they lean into it. I mean, you know, some women, some women, or 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 some some of they them's look pretty cool with it, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna go like the Chad route, but um, mm -hmm. 
I'd say most most people look fucking gross. Most people look fucking nasty with it. Um, I I saw I already told you about the weird guy with the green hair. I at my uh, college, right? Maybe is he the one that wants to fuck you? Probably. I mean, he probably wants to fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's the guy with the girlfriend that said that he was he, I was gonna make him act up and, uh, like gross green shaved hair and, uh, he post he posted it on a snapchat after Kamala and and Biden won about how Kamala was like how he's so he's so like happy that Kamala is the first uh yo uh, like rate like woman woman vice president and is also like you know uh what is the word oh my god vice I'm president say something horrible oh oh Vi he's vice president and she's also ethnic <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what word. bailey you can't say that word on twitter and twitch anymore <laughs> oh yes <no. laughs> Yeah. Oh God, no! I'm. I'm not fucking. I'd hunt you down. I'd go. Fucking. Can somebody donate to the stream right now? Can somebody? <laughs> Please. I need. I, yeah. I need travel funds. Can a can a, a a delightful young chap, a delightful young chap with a. You know, I said this a couple of days ago to my brother. I was like, you know, they banned the that word. Yeah. The other ones, and it's like, you know, why don't uh. We're just gonna come up with a new one. Yeah, we we just can come up with a, a new we word. Just got a simp is such a powerful word because it has the same p sound as pussy. Do you know that? Simp. Yep. Oh yeah, you're kind of uses the same p sound as pussy. Yeah, so that's why it hits, and it's got the same im sound as imbecile. You know, I don't know why cunt doesn't doesn't cut for me. You know, some people are like, you know, the the worst word you can call somebody is a cunt. It's like, like that doesn't in Australia. That's a that's a term of endearment. We call each other cunt as as a you're a good you're a good cunt. Yeah, yeah, you're a good cunt. That's what uh that's what Alex calls. Uh, well, <laughs> he's he's specified many a time that he's from New Zealand, and that that New Zealand is very different from Australia. And I don't believe that's true. <laughs> New Zealand? Oh, th they'd get mad if you called them similar to Australians. I know, but, but that's, that's the only, only like, I, I think of them as, like, two sides of the same coin. Mm, maybe. They would get pissed. We're nothing like those mainlanders. They did. They did get pissed. Mm. They were fucking mad at me. I mean, they're not seriously mad at me, but it was like, you know. Mm -hmm. What are you, retarded? <laughs> are you retarded or something? But, uh, what do you, do, do Australian people think of, uh, America and Canada the same? Um... I don't think we think of Canada. That's the problem. We don't talk about Canada at all. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I, I don't think about Canada. I guess we just think of them because they're close by. Maybe. They don't, they don't have a lot going for them except for the whole blackface thing, which is uh, that, that pretty look, funny. Pretty I'm, cool. I'm glad they figured out that that was bad. We have like regular scandals where like our football players will just wear blackface for some reason. Yeah, we had that at my old high school. Oh, um, the blackface controversies. A a guy at my old high school in Zingo. I'm basically gonna dox myself. I don't go there anymore, so you can fucking look it up and call them, prank call them, whatever the fuck. Uh my old high school in Baltimore, um fucking bef the year before I came, a kid got uh like he went out for Halloween as do you know the Freddy Gray case? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he he dressed up in an orange jumpsuit. Oh no! Or blackface. Oh and he no! Went out as that for Halloween. Did he get killed? Pics of it to his Instagram. <gasps> no, he didn't get killed. Oh no! You know. <laughs> it, I, I bet it went down real well. Oh yeah, yeah, it uh, went very well. There were there were articles about it in the paper and stuff. It wasn't great. Um, so you, you can, I mean, you can look up, you can look up, probably look up Baltimore Halloween costume and Freddie Gray and oh. like find, find a, uh, find a case of that, find like the article that I'm talking about. Oh, but, Jesus. Um, yeah, it was really bad. Um, this is the same. So this, this high school that I went to, 
because that case happened the year before, they were already kind of having like bad. They had pretty bad press uh, um, going for them. Yep. <laughs> so I came the next year, and it was like tenth uh, grade, and, and and I came like halfway through the year. Yep. So you know, not a lot of people were talking to me. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was very awkward at that time. Yeah. I hadn't really. I was moving around a lot, so I couldn't. I, I couldn't really get used to, to meeting new people. I wasn't used to it at the time, so not a lot of people talked to me. But I, I would post like the most. Um, I use. I, I would post very uh, off-color things on my Snapchat. Um, <laughs> yeah. Very off-color jokes. I remember the day I got added to the chemistry, um, uh, like like group chat. Yeah. It's a picture of a horse of the prolapsed ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a, a psychopath. I would have beaten the shit out of all day. Oh my god! I was a weirdo. But I was I was laughing my ass off after I did it. Oh man, um, see, I didn't really care that much. I was but, like the know, people thought of me that way. I was the only kid like around my age who like went on the computer. So that was what the fuck. That was what the fuck. <laughs> Yo, no, yo, new cow dropped. Yo, new cow just dropped. <laughs> yo, new cow brought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we fixed the cow. But like, I, awesome. this was because the thing with Zoomers is that they all love going on the damn computer and talking to people about it. But I was the only kid in like middle school who was on the computer. No, and, you know that that was like the same with me in in. Okay, and like middle school, right? Like not a lot of people use the computer and stuff. Yeah. But in high school, it just like it. Uh, a lot of a lot more people were interested in the shit that I was interested in. Yeah. So it became a lot easier to uh, socialize about that kind of stuff because like Fortnite and, and shit like that, you know. Yeah. I shit on Fortnite, you know. It's gay. It is and, gay. Uh, you know, whatever. It's gay. I'm not lame, and I don't like Fortnite. It's gay, dude. <laughs> you know when when like that shit happened and Twitch streaming got big, mm -hmm. um, it kind of it kind of spiraled into them watching like Twitch streamers and then they got into like Vine Sauce and like Germa and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, so it was like you know, and then they got into like 4chan and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the kid, the the one kid that I knew in my middle school who did 4chan, so he he came in in seventh grade. And he was, like, this autistic... He wasn't autistic, but he watched, like, My Little Pony and shit. Uh, and he was big on that. And then uh, maybe maybe six months later, after maybe being bullied out of it, mm -hmm. he became a hardcore, like, 4chan LARPing Nazi. Oh, God. Using Snapchat in high school is making me feel like a really like, two years later, he was, like... This age when I, I graduated HS he's like, people were kinda, using blackberries know, with physical while, keyboards but, uh, found, I think he found only my he found like iPhones in the hand oh no, no that, you know oh. he's a weird guy he's a weird guy I, I became friends with him in like 10th grade oh my you know my best I, friend in high school my best friend in high school ended up like like they were really weird and quiet, and I think they they ended up transitioning, but they kind of just lost interest after a year, so they got stuck with tits. <laughs> Bruh. And I was like, oh come on, but they they kind of were like, oh, I want to be a girl, but I don't want to put the effort in, kind of thing. Like one, like oh yeah, well, maybe one day I'll just magically wake up as a girl. <laughs> it's like no, nah. you gotta put work in. Bro, it sucks. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This shit. It should be hurting. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, Bailey's growing some titties. <laughs> oh I'm, listen, you know, I think, um, I think, I think I'm, I'm gonna think I'm gonna come out. I think I'm gonna come out real nice. Look real nice. I, you got the, you've uh, got the, I don't know, you got the, what's, what's the word? You got the fit twink build. The character build, yeah. You, you, you picked well on the, the character select screen. I got my, except, uh, aside from my, Autism and asthma. I've uh, got a good set of stats. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a good build going for me. I rolled very badly. I got the Chad face and the autistic brain. <laughs> no, I think you're fucking. You're you're the Chad face is is working well for you. Mm-hmm. I um. I'm such a weak chin. I look so autistic and retarded. <laughs> Like most of my life. <laughs> Dude, literally senior year is when I started giving a shit about my parents. Oh. Like, 
grew my hair out and like worked out a ton. And now I like, I can't, I, I'm not, I don't look like a weird fucking gnome person. <laughs> I think you posted, you posted pics of when you were like 17 and holy shit, you had a glow up, dude. Dude, I did. I'm uh, damn right I did. I look at pictures uh, of me when I was like 19 and I just look retarded. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like lanklet idiot. Oh, fuck. I mean, I don't know, you know, there's just, it, I hope, I hope I haven't reached my peak. I hope it only gets better from here, but chances are, are slim. What? You're gonna, you're gonna age well, I think. I hope so. You're still growing. I am. I am still growing. I'm a growing. I'm a growing fella. I'm a growing creature. Yeah. Um, we're gonna we're gonna come to your twenty fifth and watch you crumble into twink dust. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I. You know, we, we say that, but there's like a. I know a couple fucking what half a beef is like thirty. Oh. Why? Why are they thirty? No, they're like twenty eight. I was gonna. Or say, oh like, my yeah. god, they're older than me. They're getting up there. Natalie, do you know Natalie Mars? No, I don't think so. Maybe I do. Maybe. They're like this weird fucking porn star, and they like do weird kink shit. But uh, they didn't transit transition until like their thirties. Uh huh. They, like until they were like thirty one, and they they are like one of the best passing people I've ever seen. It's all genes, really. It really is. It really it really is. A lot of people are like you know, I'm at that point where I can't do it anymore, man. It's like I mean I I guess I, who cares? I don't really I don't know. As long as you don't dress up like a you know, I don't want to use the term pawn. But, yeah. Uh, you know, this is a safe space. You can go ahead. Girl. Oh God! Yeah, having your yeah, being like yeah, time to time to live out my teenage years, and you're 32. <laughs> it's like mm. it's people are like it's a it's a coping mechanism. It's a coping mechanism. I, it's fucking weird, dude. Yeah. You got it. You got to like not look like you just went and cuz to your friends you're going to just look like you you went crazy one day and it's like, "Oh god." Yeah. Looks like a you, you had a mental snap. Yeah. If I ever see somebody wearing actual thigh-high socks in public, I'm going to gut them like a fish. Oh, I did see I'm going to make them a shish kebab. I did see one that was when I was like in the city and it was like Halloween and I was I just like wanted to growl at them like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's more autistic or not. <laughs> <laughs> Making growling noises at them. They probably thought I was like a furry. <laughs> like, are you? I, oh, are you? Arr, no, I'm angry at you. I'm angry at you. Get out of that fucking. Get out of the tutu, retard. Get out of that tutu. Go iron that skirt. 40 year old trans person wearing like a fucking. A, a thigh high, like a, a a barely low enough skirt to like cover their dick. Ugh. Like you're, you look gross. You look like a fucking predator, dude. Please stop. Yeah, I guess on Halloween it is fine. On Halloween we all dress, uh, dress retarded. That's how it be. But um, I I you know, oh god. I just you can explain it to boomers pretty well. Just be like, Ma, I got a medical condition. Also, I have you have to. You, I gotta wear a skirt now. <laughs> you wouldn't be wrong. I think it's just. Yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be incorrect. I honestly, I think I think bitches should stop wearing skirts. I think most outfits don't look good with skirts unless they're like the really long ones. Oh man. I like the long, long skirts. Uh, I, I like I like bitches in pants though. God. Bitches should be wearing pants. Let's I think everybody should just wear men's clothes. <laughs> Bailey's go Bailey's gonna switch to the uh, women's jeans aesthetic soon, so you gotta be ready. I'm already wearing, bro. I'm already into the women's jeans aesthetic. Oh, really? I think I'm in. I don't know. I wear, I wear like, I wear like the black, uh, like emo, emo jeans. <sighs> you don't post your ass that much. I've noticed. Just, just observing. Uh, you know. I, I, uh, you know, if you post your butt, it comes with the assumption that you'll be also posting whole. Oh. I don't want to, I don't want to post my whole. I don't want to post anything like that. I don't know. I want to post, uh, I don't think my butt is my best feature. Oh, yeah? I'd say that. My butt is not, certainly not my best feature. I'm not thirsty at all. I'm observational. I've never been thirsty. Yeah, yes, yes. 
I have never been thirsty oh, in my... Yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> this brother's starving. <laughs> You're you're uh, you're not thirsty, Rocky. <laughs> oh, I'm 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 hungry actually. Damn, <laughs> I haven't eaten today. Pretty hungry. I'll admit it, bro. I'll, I'll admit it. This... You had sushi today? Oh, nice. Delicious. Good Delicious. shit. Delicious. Expensive as fuck. But uh. Oh, it really? Tastes good. How expensive is sushi over there? Very expensive. What? What? Oh, you can get you can get cheap stuff over here. Damn. I mean, if you go to, like, an actual, like, you know, uh, you can get, like, pretty semi-cheap stuff at, like, a, you know, like a supermarket. If you want to go to Kroger or get gas station shit, mm -hmm. you get that. Oh, God, I, I worry about that fucking gas station shit. You've seen that Futurama episode where Fry gets the worms? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I don't want to get the worms, man. My, um, my college has, like, a little, uh. A little bodega type thing oh, yeah? uh, under the under the cafeteria uh -huh. and uh, I'll go down there and they have like a sushi part in their refrigerator section and I and I had one of them and I use I have them sometimes and they're like usually not awful the rice is just kind of shitty yeah um, but I had it one day and I thought I was going to die oh I thought, god I thought it was over <laughs> what in the goddamn drank the retard juice bodega. oh yeah <laughs> The bodega. <laughs> one, one sip of that retard juice and I was gone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, by the way, you probably noticed I sound, I sound, I have a lisp. Oh. Um, really? I have Invisalign now. I kind of have a slight lisp. It's not that bad, but it's like, it's there. Oh, I can hear it a little bit. Yeah. What's Invisalign? Is that, that's braces, right? It's like, it's like braces. Whoa, oh my God. It's like ah! <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking death claw here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Jesus! Kill it, kill it, kill it. It's not the gay list. I'm not becoming a faggot. Shut up. <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> Bailey's lisp attracted the fucking death claw. <laughs> if, um. Actually, yeah, I remember this. Um, when I played Fallout New Vegas on the. Play, I think I played it on my PlayStation. Uh, when you get to the death go through the valley of the death claws. Yeah. I, um, instead of I gave up and then I got it on PC later and I just cheated my way through that part. Yep. <laughs> I just did console commands because I I was not equipped. I had like a main, an entirely like dialogue build. Oh God, that's the worst. What do you? Games yeah, that just turn awesome. into like combat sections during the last part, like Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines just becomes that. You have to build for combat. Dude, I, I haven't even... Uh, dude, I, the, the tutorial for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is way too long. I can't stand it. It's so long. It's fucking long, isn't it? Jesus. You almost... I can't... It's very long. I want to play it, though. I'm, I'm probably going to play it once I 100% Cyberpunk. Yeah, bro. Go play that shit. It's the best game ever made. The tutorial? Yeah, you can I, skip I, the I, tutorial, like, can't you? Yeah, you can, but I, I want to, like, know what the fuck I'm doing. Because there are, like, some some mechanics in there that I f don't fully understand. Yeah. It's one of those games that, like, I know, like, the back of my hand, so... Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite at that point. Mm. Like, I can, like, for example, with, like, New Vegas, I can play this in my sleep. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said, Bailey, you're the only person... Hard and I've seen who likes cyberpunk. I have to ask if that means that I am actually just retarded and you didn't realize it before, or or if, if uh, I just have odd taste. I'm just eccentric. What actually are your favorite games, by the way, Bailey? I don't think I've ever asked. Hmm. I'd probably say New Vegas, um, like Skate 3. I really, really like Skate 3. Nice. Um, I like. I have a weird mix because a lot of my shit is very basic. I like. I what fucking love game? Modern Warfare Two. I skipped the tutorial on my up there first playthrough like, because I, I like, did DNT real. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I have weird taste. I have like middle schooler Option taste. I love Skate Three. I love Modern Warfare Two. I, and I love uh, New Vegas, and I love what's what's probably like my top red dead redemption 2 Ooh. like the arkham games probably nice nice uh i know everybody hated a lot of people most people i know hated red dead 2 
that uh, like talk games. Mm -hmm. and I get that, right? Like the the actual game design part of it, like the you know, the part that makes the game that everybody talks about, like you know, you gotta have this choice and shit, man. You know that shit's like busted. I get it. It's it's a rock star like slash mm. game. Yep. But um, I I would say that I. I'm very uh, I'm I'm good at like giving myself up to a game if it has really good writing or like even just serviceable writing. Yeah. Uh, so like, if I just played Red Dead Two, look, it was a TV show, and and it was great. That's probably the best way to do it. I think. Like I couldn't do that because I I don't like it when games feel like they're like they don't respect my time, and that game did not feel like it yeah. respected my time at all. No, no, it does not. It does not. That's I what, played it like 20 minutes a day. Yo. Just to like, you know. Just to feel through. something. Um, yeah, yeah. And like, I don't Hey, 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 hey Hama, you're, you're forgetting Skate 3. You, you, you dipshit. God, fuck it. Every, every fucking like drug dealer I ever knew just had like an Xbox with Skate 3 and that was the only game they had. <laughs> Stoner game, bro. That shit's so Literally fun. the only game they would have. It's so good. That and Minecraft are such good games to just play like while vibing out, bro. Fucking. <laughs> I had I had my Xbox One and I I never played that thing. Oh. Except for when I went out and bought Skate 3 and I just would play that and I'd have that on the background while I did other shit. The good like shit. My favorite podcast game. I hate. People are like, Destiny 2 is like my favorite podcast game. <laughs> Destiny 2 is so gay. I hate that game. That shit feels like work. I hate that game. Uh, oh, it's just bad. Uh, who's my favorite companion in this? Uh, Boone, because he's so fucking OP. He's ridiculous in this. He just breaks the game. I would like um, the gay... The, his fucking... Arcade? Uh, the gay... Arcade. Arcade. Yeah, good character. Arcade. Yeah, yeah. Arcade's great. Um, I. Yeah, I think I think Arcade and, and Ralph, just because he's voiced by isn't Ralph. Danny Trejo. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. That's why I love him. That's a great character. <laughs> Death Stranding is a good podcast game because it's just about it's just about working for Uber Eats. Yeah, yeah. But I'd rather go work for Uber. It <laughs> does feel like work, doesn't it? I, I, I would rather get a job. <laughs> the people that I feel like love Death Stranding, like the shit that they would talk about, is like, I would rather just do work. And then do go Uber on. Eats. I, would, I go do two hours of Uber Eats, and then I watch a cutscene from Death Stranding, and I've got my, uh, I've got the experience. Oh, Death Stranding. <laughs> You've worked at Uber. You'd be like, yeah, I've played, uh, I've played uh, Death Stranding. I know how this works. I know how delivery works. Death Stranding is Uber Eats if you don't drive a car. It's uh, it's Uber Eats on foot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I love that he was like, what's what's Kojima gonna do? What's his bold vision? And it's like, yeah, it's just a game where you turn the internet on. <laughs> you just go to people's houses. <laughs> My God, Kojima, you've done it again. You've done it. <laughs> his bold his bold vision keeps taking us to new new lands we've never seen a game like this before where you have to run but not fall it's just quap <laughs> it's quap it's with a story he literally just made quap <laughs> god respect it fucking sucks what, it, okay it doesn't suck all right people love that game i love it i oh god I remember. I haven't played it. Okay. Okay. I played it. I've you only watched it, and it looks fucking gay. <laughs> Yo, this game looks gay, bro. We ain't playing this. This game looks gay as hell. Damn, homie, this game looks. I I was reading like old game reviews where like the tone was where people would just write, "Yo, this, I would rather have fucking cancer than play this game ever again." <laughs> that was how everyone wrote back then. Yo, I, I took this game out of my I took this game out of my disc and I put it in the toilet and I took a shit all over it and then I left it for two months. Angry video game. Everyone just trying to. Yo, this this game fucking this game fucking like killed my friend in a car accident. <laughs> this 
this game freaking murdered my cousin in front of me, cold blood. This game is poopy blood. <laughs> Yo, I have fucking, uh... Uh... <laughs> have you ever watched... It's not the irate gamer. Are you, actually, oh, is it the irate gamer? Let's go into irate gamer lore. Alright, talk, talk to me, yeah. Do you know the full story of the, uh... What's what's the, uh, uh, the, the his racist, racist comic? What? No, wait. Are you thinking of Mike Matei? You're thinking of Mike Matei. Oh, I'm thinking of Mike Matei. Yes, Mike the racist uh, comic. Right. right. Uh, so do you know the story of how that like came about and how no, came out that exists? No, no. Tell me. So, Mike, um, <laughs> Mike, Mike's, uh, posted a picture of his dick to his his Facebook. And I think also his Twitter and the subreddit. Oh and, um, God! People in the in the comments were going like, "What the fuck is this, dude? This is fucking weird. You know, kids are on here, right?" And instead of defending himself with his own account, he used a separate account called like Atari, some like some fucking weird ass shit. Oh God! Some very specific thing that he likes, and and people were like. Wait a second, Mike. Mike talks all the time about liking these two specific things. <laughs> so they took the username, and and they looked it up, and not only are there old Reddit posts of him. Yeah, okay, here's why I was thinking of the irate gamer. Cause he posts. Uh, he used to use that account to post pictures of the irate gamer and talk about how much everybody hates him. <laughs> he just like shit on on the irate gamer from his like alt account. <laughs> And defend himself with it, and and people people looked it up on Google, and they found the uh, they found the website domain. Oh no! It's so funny. It's fucking. He, you know, he sends out like he he sends out a, uh, I think Twitter suspensions to anybody who posts those comments. Oh my god! He gets, he gets that shit taken down. Yep. <laughs> He sends out DMCA's. That's the, the funniest thing about them is that they are just like blatantly racist and like indefensible. It's like it's just it's fucking insane. It's not even like it's not like it can't even be passed off as ironic humor. It's it's insane. Oh god, <laughs> he's just an insane person, and God bless him. You know, this is a genuinely crazy person. I find it I find it so funny that he uh he had he he had that do you you know about the like the brown bricks video? Yes, the one that he he tried to like take it down for years and then just gave in. Yeah, he tried to take it down for years and he refused to embrace it when it was big. And then like years after people were over with the joke, he was like, "Yeah, I'm selling a brown bricks T-shirt." So like, <laughs> like no, no, people were making fun of you, you moron. You fucking moron. If you'd embrace it earlier on, maybe. But why, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's so dumb. He fucking rules. He, he does. He fucking rules. Just, have you seen... You saw that uh, Irate Gamer stopped doing reviews and became a ghost hunter, right? That is incredible. You didn't know that? Yes, he became... I think, I think my friend... Bedhead Bernie told me that. Oh my god, he he got into ghost hunting. That was a thing that he did. When he when he realized he he didn't want to do video game reviews, his real passion was hunting ghosts. Oh, did you watch the um? I'm guessing you watched like the full the full Medicare that guy with the glasses like documentary series, right? Uh, maybe I haven't the the kind of deep. I know about the the change the channel kind of drama, but. Well, he posts, so there's, I don't remember who it was. I think it's a, a shitty, like, video game critic or, like, maybe a movie critic or something. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> 4chan, <laughs> like, some guys on 4chan, I think on, like, TV or something, um, started sending him fake emails saying that, uh, Red Letter Media, like, the guys at Red Letter Media had seen his videos yeah. and wanted to hire him. Oh, <laughs> And they were like, you just come on out to the office. And he, they, he bought a, a plane ticket and flew out and then showed up at their door. And was like, I'm here for the job. Oh, no. And they were like, they were like what? Who the fuck? Are, who are you talking about? 
It's so funny. Oh, <laughs> just show off her a job. And um, I, I I don't remember what what YouTube channel it was, but um, it was there like not not uh not the main red led red letter media guys, but like the um the side guys that don't do half. Oh yeah yeah. Fuck their mic and like yeah. Aids Moby yeah. They had like a, yeah yeah they had like a, a gaming channel. Oh yeah. yeah. Um and they brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, prereq. Because nobody knew if he actually went and did it until they were like, they basically like offhandedly admitted that they, he did it. Yeah, this really sad guy showed up at our dorm one day. We felt so bad because Parchan had like tricked him. Oh no, God, you'd feel terrible for him. I do, but also you, you need to like cross check your shit, man. Oh yeah, just being like. Oh god, that's so fucking funny. Like a, a, a Skype call or something to like prove that it's actually them and you're not getting like <laughs> just actually showing up and being like, "All right, boys, let's get started." And <laughs> just being like, "What the fuck are you?" I'm the new I'm the new host on Half in the Bag. I can't I can't wait to get to work. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you're just like <laughs> This is forbidden RLM lore. Uh oh, you didn't hear? Oh, there. This is a rumor, but like, I think Jay, Jay. There's like something on TV who used to post that like Mike was really racist, or he used to be really racist, and then it kind of it turned into a joke. He's a lot more right wing than he lets on. I know that. <laughs> yeah, he is. Um, I don't. It, is it that he doesn't let on? He seems pretty. Like, I think he. Like he's not like. He's not like, like, like very openly right wing views, I guess. But he's you know he's not exactly a. I don't know. I I kind of just they. He yeah. yeah. yeah that makes sense. He, he kind of he like jokes about SJWs, and you're like, oh, he probably like reads Breitbart or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he you know they they also joke about um the you know the fucking uh conservative guys that get pissed off about like mm. Mary Sue shit and Star Wars movies and shit like uh yeah, I don't know if, if you're friends with the guy or if you know the guy but like actually I might have already brought this up on the stream but like um some YouTuber made like a, a 60 hour fucking like video series on why the star the new Star Wars movies are actually bad oh. it's like longer than the movie who has time for that I, oh my god. I think there's like a response to H Bomber Guys Why Dark Souls 2 is Good video where it's just like. Yes! And it's that just. Is, so, it's that guy. guy? Yes. Oh, that guy's a freak. Yeah, that guy. Who wants to watch that? No one. Fucking. Dude, shitty. Oh my god. Shitty video game essay guys are so funny to me. Fucking, um. Some dude. I don't, I don't know if his name is like White Light or something. Yeah. His, like, his videos. Every time I watch one, is like British, which makes him annoying. <laughs> and every time, his videos are like he'll like analyze Assassin's Creed and be like, "The world is immaculately designed, and the gameplay makes you like." He's he's going into depth about these games. That are, like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? It's the newest Watchdog game. You don't have to suck them off. Oh my if god! You make like Machiavelli and Art, you fucking. Dick. Karl Marx once said a specter was haunting Europe. In Luigi's mansion, there are many specters. <laughs> it's just fucking like that guy. <laughs> exactly. This is the guy. Joseph Anderson is so bad. Oh, God. Joseph Anderson is so fucking... Because he's just retarded. He, he's, he's amazing because... He's got, he's got like stem brain, I, I think. His... Yeah. You tweeted about his Silent Hill 2 video, oh. and I was like, wait, what are you talking about? And I went and looked up the end of his Silent Hill 2 stream. He's a fucking moron! He's dumb. He's so dumb. Really, like, genuinely dumb. I think he's, like, I don't know, he's got, like, a, the, a certain kind of brain where he can't, like, understand, like, subtext in stories or things that aren't directly yeah. explained to him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, he's just... It's, like... 
I don't know. Anything that isn't like, I I don't think he would have a fun time with like anything, any movie that's even remotely art house. Oh no, he he'd be like, why why didn't they explain this in the film? I, I don't know. I forgot what he sounds like. Why why didn't they explain this in the movie? He sounds like a, a normal ass like yeah, guy. just normal voice. He's got you know he's he's fucking he, yeah. <laughs> he makes he makes a video on like um. Twin Peaks, and he's like, "What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What the heck? What? This doesn't even make sense. This does. This shit doesn't make sense. Lynch, what are you? There, there. Are, that's I mean this red room. Where's this Munchkin come? From? See, this is like people can't enjoy David Lynch because they think he's like challenging them, and they don't like realize, oh, you can just like watch the movie and absorb it. You don't have to. It's yeah, it's no, not like... it's not a challenge to you." You don't have to be writing in a notebook to yeah. understand shit. Just like enjoy, just sit back, enjoy the movie. Just let it, you know, let it wash over exactly. you. Exactly. Just ticket it for like a full fucking hour thinking about like, what does this mean? And you know, what is what is this? And <laughs> why did why did, I don't know? Yeah, God, because because I remember the first time I saw like a Lynch movie was Mulholland Drive, and it comes with like questions like in the the DVD case that you're supposed to look for during the movie, and I thought, all right. Time to solve the movie, and it's like, no, that's not how you're meant to watch the film. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to be pausing it every. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck was that? Yeah, like it's... maybe on a, on a third rewatch, maybe. You're... Maybe you can do that for fun. Yeah. But it's like you should the first watch of any movie, you should just like let it happen. Let it vibe. Um, fuck. What was I? What was I thinking about? The I think the first Lynch thing I ever watched because I. It was like it's re relatively recent. It, it came out. It was uh, that. Have you seen the 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 monkey movie that he? Posted? Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, that was cool. It fucking rules. <laughs> I fucking loved it. Oh man, it's so fucking weird. I I mean I don't know if it's supposed to mean something, but it's I love it. He's just being weird. <laughs> Speaking of short films, are you familiar with the the guy who runs the women posting their L's account, James Healy? Bro, I saw that. Oh. I fucking dude, that shit was so funny. He's amazing because he like I have known of him for about a decade, and he just hops from trend to trend. And he used to make short mo like short films, and he made one called Penis Boy, and I think it's been taken down from the internet. Like it's it is one of the worst things ever made. Yeah, it's terrible. Unlisted. Be it was unlisted, and then I forgot who found it on Twitter. I, I found we're mutuals. He's also mutuals, but uh, he's a cool guy. Oh, he's a cool ass dude. Oh man, he, or cool person. I don't know what he is, but um, he found he found the Penis Boy film. Oh my God! Somehow on YouTube, it was unlisted, and then he fucking posted a link, and I watched. I did. I don't. I I got like maybe a minute in. It's that thing is fucking psychotic. He. Oh, he would just shill it relentlessly on TV back when this is back when Letterbox was a really small site and it was just made from like people from 4chan's TV board before it became like Facebook people. Yeah. Yeah. And like he, oh my god, everyone hated him. Just an intensely unlikable person. I mean, he's a what, what do you call him with when they post and they are themselves? I oh god, he's he just had the energy of like. That that friend everyone kind of like who hangs around with your group but no one likes. <laughs> it's just oh, like, God. oh, just insufferable, dude. Dude, that video of him dancing, I I thought of of like, I, you know, I don't support doxing, obviously, <laughs> but if you have his address and you'd like to DM it to me. <laughs> Go ahead, and I'll pay a visit. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I still have some anthrax. <laughs> but, uh, uh, nobody has the video, I don't think. If you have the video of Penis Boy, actually, I think Prison Rabbit might have. I think he got linked in our Discord. Alright, this part's a bit tricky. I remember this. The, the boomers. Oh, yeah. This is where I usually quit. Like, because th this part I remember not liking. I usually kill the boomers. I usually quit um around. What's, oh yeah, the fucking, oh direct hit. Weird playing guys. Fucking hate the boomer quest. They're so fucking lame. I know. Okay. Interesting to do in those quests. No, that's that's why I just this yeah the boomer quest kind of it's really long and it sucks. That's why I always yeah fucking no, for sure. kill them. 
Oh yeah, I guess I just gotta take him. Let's take some turbo. Let's grab it. Let me send him. Hey, do you have penis boy? boy. Link. Do you have penis apostrophe boy? <laughs> do you have penis boy? <laughs> oh fuck. Have you seen the video from going to vote? No, I have not. And if you want to post in the chat, I will watch it immediately. The brappers. <laughs> <laughs> The brat barn. Fuck yes, dude. Hell yes. Did you just, did you remember the console command for that? What? Psychotic. No, no. Did you just put on a console I no. I I thought I did, but I I was trying to put on God mode, but I thought I can't remember what the console command was. I watched you open that up and I, close it within like a second. Oh, there's there's games that I do remember console commands for, which is which is yeah, fun. I, I remember all the the Source Engine ones, the Impulse 101 ones. You can give yourself, like, guns in Portal. Dude, have you played fucking... I don't know, I'm, this is a weird fucking thing, but have you played Hitman? Uh, which one? The new one? The new one? Yeah, 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 I have. Dude, the new one, I mean, I played two and I really liked it, but I really loved... That game is fucking great. Oh, I love that game so much. That's the best. I, I, it's, it's fantastic. Everybody talks about, you know, I love, I love Blood Money. Blood Money's the best, yes. I, I just, I think, honestly, I wouldn't care if Hitman 3 or Hitman 4 or whatever the fuck was literally just a remake of the Blood Money levels in, like, the, the new engine. Oh, that'd be great. Because I'd really like, because the, the shooting in, in the old Hitman, like, the new, you know, it's not supposed to feel good. You're not, you're not supposed to want to shoot, yeah. obviously. But it's got, like, it's, like, janky. It's, like, uh, yeah. oh. God. There are moments when you're like not sure that you've been spawned or something. Like yeah, that. you just walk into a room and everyone starts shooting you. <laughs> this is the best. Yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> it's, there's like, there's a lot of jankiness in that game, which I love. I I, I love the jankiness for to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. um, the chick, the fuck, dude, the Mardi Gras. That one, oh yes, great level. I love that one because it's like, you think it would just break your console, but they they cheat in a little way. Yeah, it, like, doesn't it, like, load in different... Like, it's it's insane that they got that to work on, like, a PS2. Oh, yeah, and no slowdown either. They just... They gave it, like, really simple AI, so the AI just kind of breaks if you if you fuck with it. You're not supposed to, like... Uh, yeah, you're, you're not exactly supposed to interact with the AI, but it's it's a very cool spectacle. It is. Even now, it's, like, very neat. Um... I don't know. Like like that. I don't know if you've played um, Kane, Kane and Lynch Dead Men, the first one of those. Yeah. Uh, fuck, dude. Okay. All right. Listen. I, you keep telling me to play this. You keep telling the entirety of Twitter. I will continue to shill those. I will not. Is, is Kane and Lynch two co-op? It is co-op. Yes, it is. Take a friend. Kane and Lynch two. Oh. I would like to play Kane and Lynch two. Oh my God, bro! That would be a stream. I love playing Kane and Lynch two with people. That's. I'd play Kane and Lynch too. Oh my God, <laughs> we're Bailey's gonna play Kane and Lynch too. Yes, we will one hundred percent. And he had he. I, it was either Army of Two or Kane and Lynch too. Oh, like they get confused a lot. That's yeah. A twelve-year-old. Well, <laughs> you get Do they? Is Army of Two and Kane and Lynch? Oh, they came around about the same time, and they have like a similar kind of co-op thing. But yeah. Oh God, I. Yeah. All my, all my, like, close friends I've played through that game with. <laughs> I do love the look of Kane and Witch 2. It's, oh god, actually playing it is so fun. Just taking someone I with you. Like, I would like a, a, a newer games to take that kind of bizarre, I don't know. That, like... Like, look to it. It's insane. Like, everyone, like, the audience has hated it, but I just love that it was, like, a million-dollar game that was just so fucking ugly. And, like, so dedicated think, to just being hideous. I think Jim Sterling said he liked it. <laughs> Did he? I, oh, no, I think, I think Jim Sterling might be the one who gave it a 1 out of 10. I think Yahtzee, Yahtzee gave it the worst game of the year award. It, it got fucking savage. People hate that fucking game. I mean, I, I, I remember before before I, I talked to you about it, um, I, I thought that it was horrid. I thought most people hated that uh, game. I didn't think I'd ever find a person that was, like, in love with that aesthetic. Oh, uh... But I can definitely see it now. Uh, Lol 8 ball says, I too watched that video essay rocket. Hey, I was shilling that game years before it got fucking reevaluated. okay? 
I, yeah, what, was, what was that video? I, I watched that after you talked about it. I, so it was like, I was just happy that fucking people were finally being like, oh yeah, you finally caught up. I was like, I was fucking singing that game's praises for years. And I was telling... I love, Max Payne 3 is like one of my favorite, like... I'm I, probably my favorite Max Payne game yes. for some reason. It's so I good. I've all of them. Max Payne 3 is awesome. Max Payne 3 rules. It's just, they, they just fucking, like, it's, I have never played a game that has guns that feel that good since. It is, it is fun as shit. It's horribly depressing. Oh, yeah, God. It's got, like, <laughs> one of the most downer stories I've ever played. <laughs> Great. There's a drinking game we should do with it where you uh you drink every time Max does and you probably die before like the two hour mark. <laughs> <laughs> My man had fucking liver failure. <laughs> oh, fuck. That game is great. I that game that game handles. It doesn't. I don't know. It probably doesn't handle misery, but. But, uh, Last of Us 2, I fucking hated that game, dude. Oh, uh, I didn't finish it. I got about, like, I don't know, a, a third of the way in. I was like, man, why why the fuck did I buy this game? This sucks. <laughs> I only bought it to meme on it. It sucked. I, oh. It is just not fun. The fact that it had, like, the cultural shelf life of, like, a week is, like... <laughs> It got fucking game of the year. What the fuck? Well, that's 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 people circling the wagons and being like, no, the the, the audience hated it, but we're the, we're the critics and we say it's good. And it's like, no, shut up. We have higher taste. It was not. It's just not fun. I don't. Uh, it's not good. I don't understand. I I knew it was gonna be bad when they did the like HBO opening where there's there's no music in the opening titles, and I was like, ugh, we're trying to be movies. Oh god. It's fucking uh, uh Yeah, I I don't know. I saw what he was going for. I appreciate it. I actually thought the the combat was really fun. You, oh, you can't you can't shoot kids in this. I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah. The, one of the uh dude. Yeah. I remember you posting clips of like gore and shit from from Last of Us 2. That is like the most fun I had with that game. That, people to literally oh my god. The fact that they recorded like realistic screaming and shit is so fucking funny. And that like so they, people got PTSD from working on that game. <laughs> oh my god. The fucking. Why didn't they? They should have just done what fucking Valve did for Left 4 Dead and they just had medical textbooks. It's like you don't need to make people watch hanging videos. That's psychotic. Hey, I need you to watch this, uh, this cartel guy get sawed in half with a, a chair. <laughs> uh, I don't know, three hours, figure out how this works, figure out how the ligaments come off. Just, you know, just render it out really nice. It's just it's fucking, fucking, oh my god, those poor animators. It's psychotic. It's fucking insane. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, can you not shoot the Torah and the stars of David? No, you literally can't, no. They, oh, they, they, the, the oh my god, the best part of that was all the uh, Arab gamers getting pissed at it. <laughs> they were just that like, is so <laughs> funny, <That's> fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they like, they were, fuck. they were making YouTube videos like being furious about it. You know, if that game came out on PC, that would have been modded in within like. A <laughs> That would have been like the first mod that somebody made. We we took out the, the we, non-shooting barrier for the Torah. Oh my god. Oh fuck. So fucking funny. That's so funny. Oh. Uh, the fucking you you get off your horse and you climb into a building and you start playing the guitar. <laughs> like after your fuck I. Uh, oh god. It's such a bad fucking game, God. Oh my god. Everyone, the fact that it was like, the fact that it, 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 it had, it, everyone forgot about it after a week, which is one of the funniest details of it. Yeah. It's, it's oh god. One of the <laughs> fucking funniest things. This guy, this guy has a top hat on. I have a plan. I have a genius. Sick. I'm a sick pervert. I'm gonna become a game designer. <laughs> A top leading game designer at Naughty Dog. I'm gonna make a hit game, 
and then I'm gonna become like the head, the head of the next game. And I'm gonna make every one of my employees watch Tub Girl for three hours before they get to the. I'm gonna be like, you need to listen. You need, you know, it's. I have an artistic vision. I'd like to see it uh, brought to life. Can you 3D render Tub Girl? Do a video game, <laughs> boss. We we need to tighten up the graphics on the uh, goatsy mission. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh my god! Just do that. Just be like, yeah, boss. The uh, the gaping mini game isn't coming through properly. <laughs> yeah, I need you to make a. We need a, a realistic looking gape here. This doesn't, uh, this doesn't look right. This yeah, the the textures keep unloading. Yeah, this uh, this game isn't gonna work. We're gonna need this to be re-rendered and put through uh, a lot more scrutiny. This is. Oh my god, I found the video of the guy of that that guy we were talking about, the bad film takes guy. Oh, um, you found it? Yes. Going going to uh, an election. I also have the short film, by the way. Oh, you have it? Uh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, I have it. I have it. Oh my god. Um, actually, you know what? Let me post post a link to it. Yeah, I'll, we. we um, <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. You know what would be really, a really funny turn is if you just went, like, full, hardcore HSTS sissy. <laughs> you should start, you, you just completely transform your account and you start, like, replying to people. You become, like, a reply, a reply guy. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm straight again, but you won't believe what changes I've made. <laughs> oh, fuck. You become... <laughs> You be the HSTS and I'll be the AGP. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right, listen, listen. What the fuck is the difference between HSTS and AGP? I thought they were the same. No, no, the, the HSTS is like men who, who want to have sex with like straight guys. So they become trans apparently. And AGP is getting off to the idea of being a woman apparently. I don't know that that shit. It's oh, it's shit. so fucking funny that that was like the dominant thought on what transsexuality was for like three decades. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. They were like, "Well, anyway, mate, I'm HSTF." <laughs> they were just like, like people people were shrugging their shoulders, and just being like, "Oh, well, maybe they're just really gay." <laughs> that was the that. You know, I'm gonna say it. This is gay too. Not a big fan. Not a big fan of uh, it's gay. Too. <laughs> this is gay too. Gay leveled up. Ah. Gay too. H H P is real. H E P is real. H S T S is it? So much we upgraded it. Our goal was to create the gayest man on earth, and we succeeded. <laughs> Just like Mewtwo is H S T S. Oh my God. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna make an alt account for you, and I'm just gonna like lie and say it's you. No, Bailey! I'm, do you actually want me to hunt you down? I'm gonna hunt you down, boy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put. Okay, okay, Rocky. Imagine this, right? All right. You look up. Um. You look up. Uh. Uh. Because there's this weird subgenre of of those images where it's like 40 year old men. What? Like dressed in all women's clothing, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's got like like their stats around them basically. <laughs> Just wanting to, you know, he's been like the tech the tech tree. Stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he's a he's a whore and that type of shit. Yeah. What if you looked up looked up sissy and you saw your dad? <laughs> It's like, you found a picture of your dad. My uh, that, people find their dads on Grinder sometimes. I've read about that. A lot of people, a lot of people, low key want to fuck uh, trans people. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to do it on the down low. Oh, fuck. I mean, you know, trans. You know, some trans people pretty pretty hot, pretty silent. They be silent, yeah. I I hung out with the this this trans girl from my college, and Jesus fucking Christ, some of you need to learn fucking hygiene. She smelled so bad. Oh. She smelled so fucking bad. It's oh, like no. I wanted to kill myself. I was like. 
Oh, fuck. It was so bad. That's fucking trash. How do you smell bad when you're on estrogen? I don't know. How does that even happen? I thought you stopped smelling. It's, it's, it was so bad. It smelled like a mix of, like, weed and shit. I didn't, I was like, this is awful. I didn't want this girl smell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh my god, women, women also need to shower. Women, yeah. women be women showering. Shower and, and take, take basic hygiene shit. Oh god. Oh fuck. They don't tell you this. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bailey, Bailey's just like, so he's just shivering because he's like crying thinking I'm about thinking it. thinking about it, it was like horrific. Oh my god, oh, just be being, oh, how do you tell someone like, yeah, you need to go and wash, like, Jesus Christ. Women be stinky, bro. Women, women be, women be smelling. Oh, uh, fuck. I, oh. Uh, gross. I know exactly what you're talking about, too, just being like, oh my god. Be, being around, being around a bitch that got a, a stanky ass pussy? Not a fan. Yeah, it's, uh... It's not fun. I, oh, God. Yeah, wash, wash your pussy. Girls, pussy. girls, you need to be washing your pussy. <laughs> you need yeah. to go and wash that pussy. Ayo, ayo, bitch. What? Wait, this is going to be... The, the, yeah, this is... The <laughs> <laughs> I, that, was, that was the whole goal of the stream, was to get Paley to do AAP. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking canceled. Oh, oh. Bailey, you in trouble? Oh you crazy god. for this one? Hey, dude! Oh my god, I just did it again. <laughs> it's hard not to. Oh fuck! Oh, oh god! Oh. Yeah, that's the message of the stream. B bitches be smelling. <laughs> Bitches be smelly. Bitches, bitches be having stinky pussies. Bailey, I need, I need, I need your take. Are femboys over? I'm kind of sick. I'm kind of sick of it. I think we've reached peak. Like everyone. They've been over for a while. Yeah. They've been over for a fucking long ass time. They've been over for like a year. I, oh god. I, when it, as soon as it hit TikTok, it was dead. There's so many new accounts, and I'm just like, I'm tired of this shit. I'm just like, I'm over this. <laughs> Iron that goddamn skirt. I mean, I just, you know, if it, uh, it's mostly a vast majority of the people who are going to call them femboys, like 15 year olds and people who look like fucking goblin people. It's just like, you know, I don't want to see this. It's like, it's upsetting. It is upsetting. It's like, man. This was fun when it was like a novel thing, and it was like, oh, look at that. And yeah. it's like, oh, now everyone's everyone's doing it. Yeah, yeah. It's trendy in yeah, the way that yeah. like bisexuality used to be trendy. Yeah, I think people should just be cool. I think people should just just be cool. <laughs> you just be cool. Be chill. I have never once publicly called myself a feminist. That's why you're cool. You, yeah, you're Damn right. fucking A. That's why you're cool. I'm a, I'm a creature. I'm a creature. Anyone here seen the Muslim sissy captions? What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, we've all seen Alice's account, okay? <laughs> oh my god, this is a real thing. What? This is a real thing. Oh no. Every white boy should be in a hijab dating Muslim men by 16 and a citizen of Syria by 18. <laughs> Is what is? Oh no! <laughs> no. It's rules, bro. It's what? Rules. I wish I didn't know what this was. <laughs> this is awesome. Bailey's dying. A powerful, a powerful Muslim seed can germinate in a weak white boy and make him mother. Of course, at first he must be feminized and. Uh, what if these were all just made by Swedes? <laughs> just like... They have been. They were all made by the Swedish, the Swedish government. <laughs> Holy fuck! This is incredible! <laughs> How did I know about this? Oh my god! Muslim sissy captions! Whoever posted this? Muslim sissy captions! God, they, they got sissy captions for everything! Jeez! Oh fuck! Oh. Alright.
bought some sissy captions. Gank. Oh, look. It's so funny. I... Oh, shit. Far out, man. <laughs> why, why, is it, why do people have to be like this? I'm in one of those phases where I'm in like one of those phases now where I'm just disgusted by sex again. <laughs> I have been as well. I have been as well. Oh God, You're just like. Um, I just want to be told I'm fucking cool. Yo, ho yeah. homie, you're fucking cool, dude. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Thanks. Brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, bro. Lay me some skin. Oh, fuck. You're just like, hot. Oh, give me some skin, dude. You're just, see, now you're going back into AAV. I've, I've awoken something within you. <laughs> I'm just tripping you up. Wait, wait, wait. This is just how I talk. Oh, okay. Yo, ba yo, hey. Bailey, like he he just fuck he just drops the end bomb, man. He just doesn't know hey, what he. Hey, hey, listen, you know if, hey, man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, whoa! He's just doing like rap gestures with his hands, and we can't see it. <laughs> this is actually what um trans voice training is. <laughs> Learn how to speak black. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing a. How does it do? Doing the jive training. <laughs> mm, girl. Oh fuck. Face training, but it's. <laughs> you did. <laughs> You're just making tweets. How to say? Wait. Trans. I don't. I'm trying to figure out a way to tweet this. It isn't offensive. <laughs> the fuck. I'm not a race. I'm not a racist. I'm not racist. I'm not racist. I'm not racist. Wait, have you seen the video of the um the guy's got like uh, his his windows keeps asking him to update. And, uh, and he has like a mental breakdown. He's like, Obama, you made me racist. He says the N word. It's fucking hilarious. It's so oh funny. god. He's like, is this because you want to be spying on me, Obama? Obama! Why are you doing this? <laughs> Obama! Oh, fuck. Oh, I love, you know, Obama, you know, not the best president, you know, can't, can't say too much oh good about God, the guy, we're... but hey, you know, he could play b-ball. Hey, yo, he, he, he b-ballin'. <laughs> George George Lucas was or not George Lucas? What's this, the guy Mark Hamill, big mm, fan mm -hmm. of President Obama? Oh yeah. <sighs> Goddamn son, mm. we're entering the cornrows Bailey arc. <laughs> Hello, I'm going to get cornrows. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh fuck! I, I'm gonna have dreads. <laughs> Who says the N word for gamers or? You know, is um, yeah, I, I think that becomes a question of whether the N word becomes like a, a thing. No, we're not going to do this. This I'm is this is uh, expl you got to explore the bit. This is the Bailey saying it's okay to say the N word part of the stream. I can't. I was I was gonna go. Is it really a word? Is it really that bad to say the N word? You know, I I, I think it's been uh, it's been retaken. I, I, we, uh, gamers have reclaimed the word. It doesn't, it, it means foolish person. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'm just saying, uh, I, it's been kind of a reclaiming of the, uh, the word and it's, it's context. It's not, it's so much about, uh, you being black. <laughs> it, 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 it's about, it's about being foolish. Your your KD's low. Your KD's too low now. That's what it means. I, I, all the all the kids are saying it. I don't see what the problem is. I don't understand the problem here. I uh, frankly, I I think I should be uh, allowed to say it. Frankly, I. I why. How come they get to say it? If I if I'm singing a song, I should be allowed to say it. I'm dyslexic, and I think I should be able to say retard. Really. Uh, that's how you save yourself when you like accidentally like tweet the n word, but you misspell it. <laughs> People just assume you're drunk. <laughs> oh fuck! Bailey, Bailey's accused accused of tweeting out hip hop words. <laughs> just be like, yeah, sorry guys, I was uh, <clears throat> on that lean. 
Hey, I'm just saying, you know, I was, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting edgier as the days go by. I'm, I'm feel, know, just, uh, feeling the urge. You gotta relieve the pressure, let out, let out the word. Who the fuck is Riley Reed? Who, who is this? Oh, it's a porn star. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like a famous porn star. I, I would assume that they would be, have a dick, but, uh. Alas. <laughs> They don't, uh, you know, alas, they, I bet they have a pussy, but if somebody can get me in touch, um, with, with, uh, Riley Reed, so I can do this, this hip-hop, this racist hip-hop track. <laughs> the racist know. porno. I... Wait, she has a hip, she has a rap track where she says the N-word, are you serious? Oh my god. You're no way, no way that's real. Incredible, no, incredible. Okay. Okay, all right, wait, hold on. Have you ever watched, um, I used to, whenever I would, like, get high with my friends yeah. in, like, uh, in high school, sometimes me and my friend would pull up, uh, drone strike footage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I talked about this before, but we would just watch, like, uh, like, videos of, of like, because... If it was good enough quality, you could literally see, like, ghosts. Yeah, you could see, like, guts coming out and shit. That's what you want to see, though. I mean, I'm just, you know, if I'm, I am was getting high, I was watching these guys. There's a video, there's, you know, there's this part where they, like, crouch in the ground, and they're, like, praying. Yeah. And, uh, one of them, the other one gets, like, blown to hell. And the oh. guy was also praying gets up. He's like, oh, wait. Can you, like, can you imagine? You're praying to your, your god that you sacrificed your whole life to you alive and you watch your friend who's doing the same thing. Oh, blown god. Blown to smithereens. I, like, that is horrific. I came home one night and, like, my my dad was watching, like, Syrian war footage. And I, it was like, I was like, yo, I could I could probably find you some really cool videos if you want. And it's like, and my dad just looks at me and I'm like, holy fuck, I really just offered to, like, watch snuff with my dad. I got to, like, catch myself. <laughs> <laughs> to just be like, hang on. My fucking, I told my boyfriend about this last night, but my um, my English teacher, um, we were talking about I don't know animals or something, and like uh, um, making them, you know, making them like basically into house pets. Yo. And he told me about this um, this documentary about this this couple that took in like a bear cub, and then kind of you know made it made it civil to a certain extent. Yo. And then release it back in the wild, and then they they brought this this film crew out with them mm -hmm. to go find these this bear again, and they found him. And they recorded the whole thing, and it's a fucking video of them getting fucking mauled. Oh my god! Fucking murked. Oh. And he fucking showed it to us, and I was like, "What the fuck is wrong?" What? Have you seen? It was like, yeah. Oh. You know, that's why you don't. Uh, why you don't do that kind of thing. Have you seen the movie Grizzly Man? Have you seen Grizzly Man? Oh my! It's one of the funniest fucking movies ever made. It's about. It's. It's a Werner Herzog documentary about a guy who like would film himself like out in the woods with bears, and he legitimately believed that like the bears were his friends and not wild animals. And in the end, he got eaten by a bear. He got fucking killed by a bear. And it's one of the. F I can't explain why, but it is one of the funniest films ever made. Just so funny. about this just bizarre man who just thought he thought he was emotionally connecting with like wild animals, and that like animals, and he thought like animals were capable of these like connecting with humans in such a way. What's that? Uh, what's that? that gorilla? What is that gorilla that like could speak and shit? Coco. Like your sign language, Coco. <laughs> Wouldn't it be way funnier if Coco like fucking. The sign language like I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Ripped the lady's arms off and shit. <laughs> Just the, like, you're fucking dead. We taught the, we taught a gorilla about the concept of death and now she has depression. <laughs> <laughs> we taught an elephant to paint and it's just an elephant picking up a paintbrush and fucking whipping it at a fucking canvas. It's like wow. You guys are fucking retarded. You guys are stupid as shit. If you th thought this is impressive, you're fucking... <laughs> you might be stupid. <laughs> you're dumb. You taught a, a gorilla, like a fucking, uh, uh, an elephant to pick up a paintbrush and whip it at a fucking canvas. And, and you're like, oh, you know, it's, 
It's express it. You're fucking retarded. That's the most beautiful image. What a beautiful image, an elephant painting. <laughs> Oh, she's expressing herself, and it's just like hitting it. It's just whacking a canvas. Dude, I want to own a monkey so bad, bro. I I know you're because you, they're wild animals. They don't want to do that. But yeah. The possibility that I could own a tiny oh shit, this is getting. <laughs> I was gonna say the possibility of owning a tiny little man. <laughs> And just have them hang out with me. Bailey's He's just, so it, it's weird. all, it's just keeps coming like, back to this. Like, Wait a minute, you you own awesome. something. You own a person, mm. a human being. Let me talk that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we taught, we, we taught Coco the gorilla the concept of irony and she's been crying all day. <laughs> Coco's just like hyperventilating. <laughs> Why would you say something and not mean it? <laughs> Coco goes, I'm hungry. Dot. <laughs> Get Coco on the on Pump Town, bro. Get, Get Coco on the street. Get Coco on the pod. Yo, Coco, say the M word. Do it. Yo, Coco, you. Coco, you can't be saying that. Oh, now I'm doing it. Coco, no. Listen, I'm just, you know. We taught this gorilla how to get pussy. <laughs> we taught a gorilla to fuck. Yo, we taught a gorilla to fuck good. This, this gorilla gives the legs. This, this is the best head I've ever seen a gorilla give. It's just the zookeeper watching like... I, he, he's never sucked his own dick this hard. I've never seen anything like this. Yo, yo. I, I gotta get I gotta get some music on. Turn put on one more time by Daft Punk. Come on. <laughs> Dude, my my favorite video to show people whenever I meet them is the uh, the, the the monkey raping the frog video. <laughs> I love that video so much. Have you seen that? I have I've seen the. Seen oh my god! What a great what a great video. Literally my favorite. It's these kids <laughs> laughing in the background and and you can just oh it's so it's fucking so. Fun. God, that's that so good. <laughs> Showing oh it to God. people. Hey, look at this funny video just to a guy you just met. Yeah, I mean, that's basically, like, after a week of... Yo, have you seen this shit? This Yo, is crazy. You see, you've seen this shit? And you're just showing them, like, live leak footage. I, oh my God. I did that with, like, a, a when I was at, like, community college. I fucking did that with people. We were just, like, opening up live leak and being like, Yo, this guy's trying to jump into, like, the ocean, but he hits his head on a rock. Yo, let's have a look oh, at this I shit. You've seen that one? I do, I do remember shooting my showing um like a newly met group of friends oh. this video of uh it's it's the have you seen it's a video of a guy and he's doing a tutorial on how to equi escape quicksand mm -hmm. and he fucking drowned. Oh god. He died. I, he's like fuck. He's like 30 minutes he's like all right and and you know you just gotta stay calm and you can float on the top of it oh. and you know and he starts to think a little bit more and he starts to panic he's like I might have gotten myself into a jiffy here and he just fucking he, he just fucking dies he just oh my dies. god so horrific and it's, yet, it's more, I'm so morbidly fascinated by it. I don't know why you would feel who the fuck posted it. Hey, yeah, exactly. This that's the real found footage. Also, oh my god, oh my god, I haven't been able to find this in so long. I think there might have been a, a re-upload of it somewhere, but it's this video of this old man, yeah, chatterbait, I think, and he's doing like the, the gay chatterbait thing. Uh, and he's he's on cam with another guy who I'm assuming he paid. Mm. Um, and he's jerking off, fully nude in front of his camera and shit. Yeah. He has a fucking heart attack. Oh. He has a fucking heart attack. No, it gets worse. Yep. He's, you can hear his wife. Oh, I've seen that video. Yes, God. You've seen it? Yes. It's fucking, it's horrific. His wife finds out he's a gay and also oh. dead. And oh like, my God. That it must be the fucking worst. Can you imagine being like, have I don't know I don't know what would be worse. I I'm trying to imagine what would be a worse way for your significant other to find out you're gay. Oh my and like, god! I guess dying with something up your butt, but like 
That's so, so fucked. Like, Jesus. Oh my god. So, you've heard of like you've heard you know what autoerotic asphyxiation is, right? Oh yeah. People used to die of that all the time, and that was like that was how. So there was something called the choking game that kids at school like would do, and they would just die like yeah, they yeah. would die jerking off, and like their parents would just be like, "Yeah, they were really depressed." <laughs> they, yeah, they, uh, they really just you know they couldn't uh, they couldn't handle it anymore. It's yeah. like, no, I wanted to get off. Yeah, so no, I he died. he, yeah, your your boy died <laughs> while jerking off. <laughs> if I die like that, I want it to be written on my tombstone that I died because I coomed too hard. <laughs> I literally got off so hard I died. We already made you a tombstone. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. My bad. You canonically died sucking your own dick. <laughs> I had a nightmare where I, I died. Pretzel position. Oh. The, the dick suck pretzel position. What a horrific. Assume the pretzel position. <laughs> I, I remember reading some guy post on Reddit about how he got caught in the uh, he got caught in the pretzel position and like snapped something in his in his. Oh throat. God! So he had to call like a doctor. He's still in the pretzel position. <laughs> so, what a horrific! Uh, you you were literally, it's it's like um getting too close to the sun. It Jesus. It's, it's, you 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 burn up. You experience this is that's what the new Hellraiser is about. They're just putting him in the new in the pretzel position. <laughs> It'll show you pain and pleasure. <laughs> show you pain and pleasure. <laughs> Clive. Oh, <fuck. laughs> yeah, if it ever comes out that I killed myself, just know I was busting. I was busting real good. <laughs> they, they like they have to put you in the casket like that. <laughs> you're just like your dick's still oh, in your mouth. Dude. No, I said I wanted I want an open casket, but I want them to pack my pants so it looks like I have a huge dick. <laughs> I want it to look like I have such a big dick. Uh, that's gonna be in my will. I want that, and I want maybe even them add silicone tits. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Just to confuse people. I have, I have huge boobs and a huge dick <laughs> in my coffin. They have an open <laughs> casket. That'd be dope. Don't forget, bury me with my breast forms. Bury me with my titties. <laughs> oh, fuck. I wonder if I can get a, um, if before I die I can get, like, an urn for my ashes to be put on that's, like, has Ahayago print on it. <laughs> and force my family to own that forever. Yeah, that's, that's... That would be incredible. That's where our, our boy is. He just takes it out. It's got, like, the fatal pulse faces on it. <laughs> he's in the, he's in the food jar is what he, he's what he told us. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. I just came up with something so funny. Tell me. Wait, wait. Why? Okay, wait. Every time I say something so funny, it's usually not. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're getting raided. Jesus. 133 people. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Yo. What's up? What's up? Thank you, Pot About List. Holy shit. I don't know who, who that is. Oh, they're the good boys. Uh, maybe I should figure it out. I don't know. But, um, what if, right, you, so you know the MLP, like, the My Little Pony cum jar? Oh, oh yeah, God. Everybody, everybody loves that meme. Yeah. What if instead of cum, it was ashes? It was like, <laughs> what if it was ashes? Grandpa's in there. Grandpa's in that jar. I was, oh my God, I was thinking, like, you know how Chris Chan sold the original, like, medallion that he made? With the Sonny Chu yeah, thing, what if what if one day someone sells like the original Rainbow Dash cum jar? You can own the original. I mean, I've got to figure that thing's been like busted open or something. That thing's. We're gonna get you out of there, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> We're gonna get you out. We have like a, a fucking thirty. We have Elon Musk come down to figure out how to dig through the fucking like. Oh, gro I was about to go into some gross ass description. I'm not doing that. <laughs> It must be fucking disgusting by now, dude. Oh god. The grossest thing. I love the, the oh, just the, the fact that people actually do have like cum drawers and shit. Like why? Why is that? Why do you do that? Psychotic? I don't know. Why? Have you read the uh, the 4chan post about the um, it's the like the, the sissy uh, 
under, under bed, bed thing. thing. Yes. It's like the sissy cage. Yeah. That like, fucking post is so funny. That post is psychotic. The fact that people like that exist is insane to me. You're just living under the bed. He's like, well, you have some nice anime figures. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're living under the bed. You're you're being fed and clothed, but you're also oh my god, that's horrific. That's horrific. Oh. Transmissions from the sissy cage. Yes, somebody has done it with the U2's figurine. Somebody commented with the pirate. Somebody did it with Pyro Cynical's U2s and like posted it somewhere. And I remember seeing it. And I was like, why? Why would you ever post that? You're fucked. Please, you're fucked. No. Not even for an irony thing. You came in that. Fucking sicko. You can't, you can't do that ironically. You can't just, you can't bust ironically. You don't be busting, I, nobody be busting. I, yeah, man, I, I like ironically jerk off. Yeah, I'm uh, beating off. It's like a joke. But like ironically, you know? I have, okay, I have, I used to, whenever I would look up like weird porn, I would look it up and then I'd, I'd exit the tab. <laughs> if, if it got like too weird for me, I'd exit. Tab, close it, and then I'd look up. You that uh, that was so gross. You. <laughs> oh my God, we're losing him. Do you want me to go highest voice? All right, yeah. Show us the results of your voice training. I haven't done any, dude. Oh my God. Am I supposed to? Like baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're making weird noises again, Bailey. <laughs> You're making weird noises in there. Mom, I'm talking to my friends. Mom, I'm freaking Twitch streaming. Get out. Mom, I'm getting... Mom, I'm fucking talking to my friends on the computer. Mom, give me five more minutes, okay? I'm done. Yeah. Mom, I'm talking. Are you telling them about the time you sucked your own dick again? Yes. It's good content. I met a Han at um at a uh, airport once. Oh. And my, my oh. fucking parents pointed there out to me. I felt so bad. Oh, what, non-passing. No, they were, you know, they were like a, I think they were like a ex vet. I think oh, like all oh, late transitioner, right? Like an ex vet trans girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which um like probably like in their 30s. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Early early 40s, which uh they, they, they dressed competently, they weren't an asshole, they talked normal. Okay, you know? fair enough. They weren't really a, I wouldn't say they were a Han, but uh, they just seemed very, very nice. I think they were just trying to live. <laughs> They're just <laughs> trying to live. <laughs> they, they definitely looked like an ex-vet. They had like the build of an ex-vet. That's, there's like a certain kind of late transitioner that had like a really like high T profession. And then they transitioned. Like, yeah. like they were in the army and shit. I, I well, I've talked to people like that. They go to the army to get the health care benefits. Mm. Um, cause I don't think they do it anymore, but the, I think the military health care used to be able to, once you're out, you know, you could, you could pay for your transition with that. Did you know about this, this, this Easter egg, by the way? That you, no, what is That it? you can push over the Brahmin? What? You didn't know about, yeah, you can do this. No, I had no idea. That's Fucking awesome. That's fucking sick. I had no idea what. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. I love this. What a great little gag. Wait, are you doing a bit, Sauce Jockey? Is that a joke or is that for? No way that actually happened. I wouldn't doubt it, but that's that's insane if that's true. Oh god. Boy, was the dudes who got the one fucking trick head. That's real? Yeah, wait, wait, did that did that happen? That's insane. Yeah, see that's like a that's a type of late transitioner is someone who had like a really high T profession and then they were like, oh I think it's, maybe they were repressing, like, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's that. I think it, it's like uh, yeah. a compensation thing. Mm. It's um it's kind of like compensating for that uh you know, especially if you've been raised in like a very, very yeah. household. True. Usually things go one or two ways. You either rebel very early on, or you repress for a very, very long time mm. uh, until you get to the point where it's like, okay, I'm gonna. The dysphoria drives you insane, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Which you know, fuck it, whatever. Yeah, you know, I, feel, I do. 
I, I feel bad for a lot of those type of people. Yeah, it's like the people who like didn't re- didn't realize they were gay until like forty eight and they got married and now it's like, yeah. eh, oh well. Well, fuck! I've got kids. What in the goddamn? Be weird. Yep. And it was standing well, hey, whatever. there watching the matter leak out of Osama bin Laden's head. That <laughs> I realized, damn, <laughs> damn, I want to have a pussy. <laughs> so funny great work soldier as soon as you get home you can have your pussy i mean you know i gotta give them i i i feel bad for a lot of those people except for like the uh everybody remembers that video Ew, the, the, fucking, game, the ma'am video oh yeah back like 20 that yeah send, send, send you back a while pretty a psych i mean that guy's just like a meth addict that chick's like a meth addict oh dude. god see 100 percent. fucking hell like that's like they were probably, I think they had a really high T profession too. Like I was reading about another late trans. I mean, they had to. Yeah, because they got the. I don't know. No that, way it's, they didn't. It's weird, isn't it? Why that video got so big? Oh, that's. They just like. Uh, just makes you sad. It's, it makes me very. I, it's not funny to me. It's just like uncomfortable. I mean, I guess maybe if I was a different person, it'd be funny. Mm. Obviously, but it's like you know, and I don't. I'm not mad at anybody who finds it funny. By the way. You want to be a dick about it? Oh, fair care. enough. I don't really give a fuck, you know. What? Uh, I don't know. I just I find I find it up a general like genuinely upsetting. Like there's shit like that that I can find funny, but the the reaction that that video got made me genuinely mm. like upset. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, because it was talked about for like a long time. I remember my fucking dad showed me that. Yeah. Video. Oh God. That had hurt. Jesus. Jesus. Dude, oh, dude, I had my, oh, God. I had, like, I remember we'd had, like, conversations at the dinner table. Mm-hmm. Where, like, my mom would, she's, like, a, a fairly left-leaning person. Mm-hmm. It's, like, you know, that, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know. Like uh, a... She was, like, a turf type person. Oh, very, like... very hyper-feminist, but, uh, the, the bathroom shit, which I don't want to be in a woman. I don't give a shit. I don't care. <laughs> I, that's for other people. I I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, fair enough. I don't think most people care. I, I, I'm, My I'm, mom won't, like, accept. She's just like, oh, no, you're you're bisexual. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm bisexual. I'm <laughs> just whatever. <laughs> All right. Which is fucking cool. I think that's fucking cool. That is cool. I don't know. You just tell your mom, like, yeah, I've got a, a biochemical problem, and turns out there's only one way to fix it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh fuck, God! That's yeah, I don't know. that's it's the only perspective. Yeah, it's weird talking. Like even bringing it up to them, they like they weren't hostile to it. They were just like, eh, whatever, just explore. Yeah, just, just like do whatever. Get well, you're, son. You're, you're a fucking adult, basically. Yeah. You, you oh God. <laughs> like, I was in like high school or like late late high school when I came out to my. So it was like, oh, yeah. my dad still doesn't know. So it's like weird. When did you, you get the I mean? uh, the trans brain worms? Oh, what? I didn't. I didn't. Fuck. I, uh, anybody. I'll never really reveal my uh, my final. The that, origin that story. That, that will never come out. Good stuff. <laughs> I, will, I will rather die. <laughs> uh, I think I got. I, do you know, there's a shitty YouTuber named, um, Astros this. Mm-hmm. Or he's like some like I don't know if he's shitty actually. I just used to watch him. I don't watch him anymore. He's like a meme guy. Mm-hmm. But uh when I was like fifteen or fourteen. Yeah. Um and uh I used to watch him and he had a Discord server when I was like fourteen. Uh-huh. And I joined it. And I already had like weird some weird shit, you know. Um, but I joined that server and then I made friends with one of the admins. He was like my age, like yep. he was like my age. But it wasn't that weird. But he invited me to like a fucking a trap Discord. <sighs> and what, uh, when you were fifteen, by the way. He, oh, uh, oh, or oh, god. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, mean, we, I think he might have been young, like a year younger than me. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, it's kind of a um. It wasn't even like I mean there were adults that uh that did that kind of fuck shit but uh a lot of it i think it's not even like groom it's like you groom each other almost it's it's like you're the same age you're you you just kind of encourage that kind of bizarre 
behavior. It's very unhealthy. I used to, gen- um, yeah, I used to genuinely believe like it was contagious, like not literally it, like a I disease, but like it is, it is something you give to other people. It's it's not um, you know, being. I don't think it's it's not like being gay or anything. No, being no, gay but or like being trans obviously isn't like a you know a brain worm that you can give to other people. Mm. But the ideas around it and the way that you go about it is more. more of a yeah it's it's more of like a brain worm and a lot of that um most of that comes down to i think social isolation yeah when you're like 15 or like 16 or you know any anywhere in high school basically and you don't have a car you can't go to like a, a gay ass fucking lame ass support group yeah um your first uh your your first route is going to be to go through the internet yeah right because like you can't talk to your parents you can't talk to your friends about it no so you have to make up your own little, like you, find your yeah little exactly, and and that usually fosters um, the fact that it's often like, like I don't know the fact that pornography is something you're so easily exposed to is yeah yeah it's not healthy I don't think porn is healthy at all it's not way. it's I, it I, is actively bad it's been proven to be actively bad for you like I'm not saying it's wrong it to jerk off but like like yeah I'm not one of off, yeah. what, like obviously fine whatever. You know, and, and like, I don't think a little bit of porn is like that bad. But mm. It's like, there's a certain level where it's like, like, I know people with fucking porn addictions that are just like, no, oh, man, you know, I, I just like, you know, I do it every day. Like, oh, know, yeah, like, I just like, jerk off for three hours a day and I don't think about it at all. Yeah, like, I don't think about it at all. Like, no, you're addicted to pornography. You, you're like, you, you have a problem. Um, oh, God. I think I was probably addicted to pornography at like a certain point. Like, probably like, 16 or like 15. oh well, he, um, the prime jerking it years like bad. no it, like. it never became a problem for me but like i well like not a bad problem but i have like a rule where i don't i never spend more than 15 minutes jerking off like a day or like yeah. that was how i used to live I, like I or like whenever i feel like doing it but like you should treat the thing with porn is like you should treat it like a bank robbery you should not be spending more than 15 minutes on it yeah I had a moment when I was like 15 where I was like, I think I'm done. Yeah, like I, I, I just stopped. The like the I deleted. You, you you know, get like yeah. you get captured by the algorithm and you just spend like two hours and then like after you bust you just feel ashamed of yourself. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the shame I'm hits. With my life, people talk about like post nut, you know, clarity. And it's like, oh. yeah, you have that probably for a reason. You should probably chill you should probably like chill out for, for a bit oh god you know what I mean? yeah awful like if you're going out and fucking random people and you're coming out of it like regretting it oh you man do it you it's not that hard to simply not do it just if you're that horny beat off and then be done with it. i talked to yeah because i talked to people who just are like into hookups and shit and they're like they they are the stereotypical like chad types but they all have like yeah. horrible self-esteem issues and shit. It just like yeah, yeah. Totally they got like whole I don't know. Or they're like young. They they're kind of like they grew up. They're like pretty boys who grew up knowing they were attractive, which I think is not a good thing. In the yeah, long I, run, I grew up very ugly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like I grew up being a fucking weird lanklet homo looking dude, and it took yeah. me a, it, it took me a long time before I was like happy with how I looked. Yeah. So. Uh... Oh. It's a it's a weird thing, I don't know. Very weird. That whole kind of uh, oh fuck! I just realized Justin Wang doesn't follow my new. Oh yeah, you DM myself. DM his ass. I can't. He's his DMs are closed. I'll DM his life. ass. Please do. He, I mean, he didn't. He liked like maybe two of my tweets. <laughs> Man, he like fucking. <laughs> he he really likes me and Serb. He he boosts our tweets all the time. Like, granted, it turns my comments into dog shit, but whatever. I love Justin. Justin's fucking cool Justin's, as fuck. He's great. Uh, Justin's fucking awesome. The fact that we got him on the stream is like, what a, what a huge get. I love that he, he likes us, yeah. too. So that's how I know I'm doing something right. Justin is, you know, he's a, he's got the Chad physique. He's got the, he's got great, he's just a, like a very handsome man. He's into very weird, obscure internet shit. That's cool. I, like, which is fucking awesome. The fact that I was the one to tell him about Randy Stare is like one of the funniest things on the stream. Oh my, dude, I was obsessed with Randy Stare mm. for like a 
full fucking like two months. That shit is so funny to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Randy Sears hilarious. I well, okay, it's not. I mean, it, it, no, well, it is. It is very funny. Oh Let's god. not pretend it is not funny. It is incredibly funny. It's so funny. The video of him missing every shot. <laughs> yes. So funny. He misses every single fucking shot with a shotgun. Uh, oh, dude, I remember he um he watched uh or no he he tried. I'm sure you know, like, the full Randy lore. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, do you know about him trying to, like, hire, like, weird internet? Oh, do, like, yes. Where he was hiring animators? Like, yes, and it was the... He the... was trying to. <laughs> he wasn't even paying them. He just, he was, like, just basically asking them to do it out of the kindness of their heart. Yes. He was such a genius. Oh. But, uh, and nobody did it, and that was one of the reasons he, like, fucking lost his mind, I guess. <laughs> The so the funny. video was the the animated like thing of his OCs going on a, a school shooting. If you've seen that, yeah, and like everyone yeah, was yeah. like, yeah, oh, everyone was like, yeah, I'm not fucking working on this. This is fucking weird. You're a psycho. And then he went off to fucking. That's it's because um that chat shit's so weird. There was also a that guy. Um, oh. I mean, I can't even remember all of them, obviously. I don't remember the names of most of these shootings, but, like, um, there was a one, like, a couple months back who, I think, shot, like, tried to shoot up a school. Yep. And, uh, and, and killed a couple people. And, and if you went into his, his Twitter, because he had a public Twitter page. Yeah. We would post about, like, Destiny and, like, Rick and Morty and stuff. <laughs> I think Medicare talked about this. Wow, he's just like me. But, uh, he... Yeah, he's just like me. He posts he posts on the on the Destiny subreddit, and uh, he 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 fucking he was like, if you went into his Twitter likes, he had liked like a bunch of weird internet artist stuff, where like uh, oh. somebody's Ava fan art, and then the the dude who made the Ava fan art made a tweet like a couple weeks after, and was like, wait, this guy fucking followed me and liked my oh, shit and God. tried to commission me. Bailey, That's so. Did, did I ever tell you that the Dayton shooter followed me? Oh. Did you know that? God. That, yes. No? That, yeah. The Dayton shooter yeah. was like a, he was like a kind of left wing, like mild irony type. And he, he followed me and he has like, he had like one reply to me. And I was like, holy fuck, do I need to purge my entire Twitter? <laughs> oh, that's him. That's the guy I was talking about. What? That's him. No. Yeah, Are yeah. you sure it was a? I think it was a bar that he shot up, not a school. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he Sorry. was I, I've got he place there, he was yes. he was like a really forgettable like white noise kind of poster. But like, yeah, he that was how I met a uh, hostage killer. We we met on the day of the uh, Dayton shooting. We met oh each other. God. That was how that was how that friendship began. That is so fucking insane to me. What a weird fucking thing, God. That was how I met one of my best oh, online friends. <laughs> through mass murder. That's insane. God, oh. yeah. I was just like, oh no. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> That's so fucking weird. Yeah, he was, uh, he liked this Ava artist stuff. And, and she, like, tweeted out, like, Yeah, I... wait, is his girlfriend trans? Oh, no, no, they're not. They're just, like, no they're just way. weird. Are they? They're like I think they were like oh, a, a, a trendy non-binary maybe if I remember correctly. Lindsay Dahl, I'm gonna look them up, but they oh. look. I think they might just look weird. And they're just they're just, an, they're be, just an art ho, I yeah. Cafe beef. I might be cafe beef. Um. Yep. Uh, clocking somebody. Non-passing sis. Yeah, yeah. Let me look up. <laughs> Lindsay, um, but they'd uh, they'd retweeted like a meme that I'd done that was like, uh, "When will you liberal pricks learn to to bring a gun to a protest or something?" It was like a, an ironic meme, but they'd retweeted it, yeah. And I was like, "Oh, oh fuck, <laughs> this is like <laughs> that's so weird." Oh no! Oh, fuck. What a fun day online that was. I'm gonna look up Lindsay uh, Lindsay Trans Trans. No, they're not. Mm. They're not. I don't. I don't. I think I'm just being a an awful person here. There actually was a but, trans uh, school shooter, but they got memory hold. I can't remember what it was. 
They got memory holes? What's that? It means, it means people kind of just forgot about it. It wasn't big. Oh, yeah. I mean, probably, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that, I don't know. The, oh, dude, the fucking, the guy who shot up the mosque. Like, have you seen, I, I remember it getting posted. It was posted, like, every board. Mm. It was literally posted on every board on 4chan. Like, oh, God. But I, I remember, because I didn't know what it was when it first popped up. Yeah. I watched the intro, and it's like, he fucking bro fists the camera. He, he's it's like, like... insane. Oh my god. it's He's like irony poisoned, but in a terrifying way. Because he was, he was like, fucking, god. It's so weird, because he... Like, that video was terrifying, because it looks like a video game. Yeah it, yeah. it does not look like a real thing. The gun is, like, covered in, like... Spray memes shit. like it, it, it is shot with like a gopro it's insane that he I, uh, it's uncom it's it's probably the most uncomfortable i've ever felt like i felt fucking awful i wanted to vomit after i, I like, oh i only got i didn't know what it was i literally didn't know what it was i got like a couple seconds in yeah and i got to where he shot somebody and yeah. I was like, oh my god oh. this is an actual thing this is jesus christ it had oh and the fact that he had, like, music in the video, which is now tainted by it. It's kind of like how, like, KMFDM is tainted by Columbine. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Oh. Ugh. I want to, uh, it would be really funny. Well, it wouldn't be funny, but, you know, yeah, it would. <laughs> if I <laughs> shot up my school. Really funny if somebody, like, Cafe Beef that I know for, like, a bunch of people. <laughs> That show be fucking insane. Oh my oh, god. Fuck. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be that surprised. I'm gonna be honest. If they went on a mass shooting, oh, they're, they're just like too weak. The estrogen made them too weak to lift up the gun. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I mean, it's made me a lot less, less violent. I didn't say that much. I last year, I, I broke my head, my hand twice, oh. fucking getting into fights. Oh, so, I don't take you for a violent person. Jeez, were you, were you that, Randy? I, wa I wasn't. No, no, no. I wasn't violent. I was. I lived with my brother, and he's a you know he's kind of a little. Oh, shit. right, right, right. Spats. <laughs> you get into some spats, and get, get, uh, maybe get. I broke my head, my hand on his head. Because oh my I God. wasn't punching correctly. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> Just bouncing I off broke. his his thick male skull. <laughs> Your weak hands. I, I, I broke my thumb, uh, and then, no, I broke my pinky first. I broke my pinky knuckle mm -hmm. um, at first, because I punched with the, the wrong knuckles, because you're supposed to hit with the two front knuckles. Yo. Not the back two. You put your uh, thumb into your hand, didn't you? Yeah. Yo. For the second one, I That'll, broke my hand that here. will do it. That'll break your thing. completely fang. broke my thumb. Fuck. And it hurt so, like, it was maybe, like, the most pain I've ever been in. Oh. I think actually, no, I think actually getting, getting the pins pulled back out was worse than, uh, like, the actual injury. Oh, oh just thinking about the pins makes me feel so uncomfortable. Because I remember, like, we, oh, have you ever had pins in, like, a broken bone? Um, no, never had pins. No, I, the only bone I've ever broken was my elbow, and I fell off my bike and broke it. Ouch. Yeah, it fucking, it was like 12 and just crying really hard because <laughs> it fucking hurt yeah it's fucked i uh yeah i, I had oh you because they like ugh, there's like a little, little ball at the end of the pin and it's like oh. covered in like pus and shit it's so gross it's so fucking nasty yeah uh and you have to think like wow i guess this is how it's supposed to look Ew. like i don't oh god oh god damn yeah, I, the CIA psyoping you. Yeah. Committed mass murder. I mean, probably. Oh, fuck. <laughs> James Holmes was just a normal dude until one day, from what I understand. Hail to the king, uh. baby. That's a fun rabbit hole to go down. Hold on. <laughs> CIA psyoping you. <laughs> I'm making you good. I'm coming up with good tweets. I'm coming up with tweets. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, the worst snuff video I ever watched. I don't know. I try to avoid snuff. The worst video I've ever seen is that, that one of the brick going through the windshield, which is quite... Uh, if I had... 
If I had to pick snuff, I'd probably pick the one of uh, Shabby or whatever his name was blowing his head off. That was my bet. Oh, yeah. Oh God, I've seen that. That was my bet. That was the sewer slut sampled that, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> of course she did. Fucking. I um. Oh God, I I I think the worst one was for me. There was like a an ISIS video. Of, oh. Uh, they had these guys in a cage, and they fucking lowered them into a pool until they drowned. Oh, I've seen that one. Fucking ISIS had like Michael Mann cinematography for their snuff videos for a while. God, what a that was what, what a weird was thing. Fucked. They had really like good quality high movies. production value for murder. Just fucking crazy. They would do like fucking shot reverse shot. Shit was crazy. I was like, oh my god, this is this is actually directed. What is happening? <laughs> Finally, the first one takes <laughs> snuff film. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> K-pop fans tried to cancel Sewer Slot over the last week. Oh, wait until they find out uh, Junko is named after Junko Ferrata, the girl on concrete. <laughs> Did you know that? No. Yeah, that's no. what that's what the Junko comes from. That's insane. Yeah, that's that's some fun, fun little rabbit hole. I didn't know they were trans for a while. Wait, what? Really? Uh, well, I I heard about all the controversy. Oh God, yeah, it's just with like them posting the like the N word shit and stuff like that. <laughs> like, yeah, what? Or how old are they? Like sixteen at the time? Uh, oh, oh, probably, probably. So, well, fucking, they posted on like 4chan and shit. I'm not gonna get mad. Yeah, at them. I I know, I know. We're not supposed to say, you know. Listen, I I knew people. I wasn't like this really, but yeah. like I knew people when I was like fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, they were just like that, and I like they kind of have to be like taught out. They that you have to literally like learn to be a human being again. It's fucking weird. Yeah, it's weird. You get really edgy in like fifth when you're like fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, like, this oh. is how fucking people act, man. I like, far out, man. I I want to go back and kick my own ass so much. I spent like I thought like being angry all the time made you like funny, and it's just ugh. Yeah, it does not. It does not. It will make it will annoying. it will make people not like you. If it's like, you know, uh, uh, uh. And another thing was like I thought, "Oh, I'm going to be a I'm going to be like a guy who makes like snarky comments to people and it's like, no, they'll just think you're a dickhead." <laughs> yeah, you you're like kind of an asshole. Yeah. I I you know, I would like a yeah, I used to do that a lot more than I now I do now. Now I'm like, I try to be as nice to a new person mm -hmm. unless I don't give it. Like I don't know. Sometimes now I'm at the point where like sometimes if I'm meeting somebody like and I don't give enough of a shit, I just won't do that at all, and I'll just be yeah, like, dickhead. exactly. I just won't. I don't want to be. I like sometimes I know I be friends with somebody. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm like that. I'm yeah, like that. you just unhealthy. you just know. That you don't want to be friends with someone, so like you just think, ah, I'll just say fag or something. Use the word retarded yeah. casually. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. It's. I mean, I love saying retard. It's fun. <laughs> it is. It's a fun thing to say. Uh, I have no regrets. Watching my watching my sense of humor like slowly degrade back into what it was in middle school has been really fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like slowly feeling myself like devolve. Ugh. Fuck. Oh, um, fucking, I think my, uh, my boyfriend kind of wants to fucking call soon. How long you got? I got fucking, I don't know. I don't know. When, when do you want to end it? I don't know. How long, how long have we been going? Two, Two hours. Uh, can you give me 20 more minutes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going good, man. Conversations yeah. flowing. Of course, brother. Hell no, yeah. Dude, fucking, I don't know. You get really edgy at that point, and you start to like. Some people, I don't know. I kind of got back into that. Mm -hmm. Like not not the weird racist shit. Just like being ra racist and like wait. Being <laughs> racist, ba he admits not it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I get what you mean. Like when you're really like, oh wow. What if Nick Mullen was my friend? Like, that kind of phase? Or, like, getting really into, like, MDE? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I get, I get exactly what you're saying. I I love... I... Yeah, Nick Mullen is is great. 
He's fantastic. I love Nick Mullen. Nick Mullen's fucking hilarious, but I wouldn't take his advice on anything. On almost, well, no, actually, you know what? No, no, Nick Mullen, Nick, Nick does seem to have at least, he has more in, in line, like, you know, his life, like, fixed up more, way more than, like, people like Sam Hyde. Oh, you yeah. Know, watch that shit. That, that MDE stuff, <sighs> like the newer stuff, where it's just him giving fucking advice. It's like, what the, f- dude, your, your show fucking, like, got taken off the air. You're like, li- I think you're still, isn't he still living with his mom? No, I think he was until he was like 31, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's, so, so I don't that's, know, that's, I don't know uh, if I will be taking my, my advice from somebody like that. I don't know. Yeah, take your advice, mm. Jesus. <laughs> what a weird guy. Uh, you read the comments of those videos, and it's like really obvious that like they these people did not have father figures. They did not have fucking. They didn't have like people to teach them shit. Yeah. And it's like well. Oh well. Oh yeah, I, they watched Jordan Peterson, and then they watched like Sam. Hall. <laughs> Jordan Peterson is kind of like he's the double header in that he's the dad you can lean on, but like for leftists, he's like the dad you can get mad at. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Fuck you, dad. <laughs> fuck you, I, dad. I, I, I'm gonna suck a dick. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh god! Oh, I I think Jordan Peterson, you know, is like I. Uh, there's like that, you know. A lot of people complain that he's like his very base shit, mm. right? A lot of it's like keep your room tidy and shit like that. And yeah. Fuck. Um, but it's, it's also like. I don't know. Maybe fucking some internet degenerates kind of. They might need that. If some dipshit conservative, like you know, retard 4chan guy is is idolizing this dude because he hates trans people or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Then like, go ahead. And I don't even think I don't even I don't even think Jordan hates trans people. I think he just doesn't. He doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, whoa, whoa, why would you? Uh... Why would you want to do that? It doesn't make any sense. Ben, Ben Shapiro is just a dipshit. Oh, right? yeah. And, and is an asshole. But Jordan, I think, you know, he's like, he's not that bad. I think he's just, you know, and, uh, he's kind of stupid, he's I guess. Stupid. I my, my man's dumb. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's got a couple things that he's just, like, not, not that great on. Because he thinks in a different way, right? He's, he's, got, he's, he's, got, he's, he's got stem brain. How old is he? How old is he now? Fucking God, Jordan Peterson. He knows. How old is he? Like 57? Something like that. He's gotta be. He looks like he's Do you know who Nick guy. Land is? Nick Land. He's like, he, he's the, the guy who made accelerationism and he has like, a lot of trans girls really love him. But like he, he yeah, has, he has, he has like open contempt for them, which I think is one of the fucking funniest things in the world. <laughs> It's just like, uh, oh God, I like, I, <laughs> I think it's. Hilarious. It does. I love it. I love it when Chris adamantly despise people that like their shit. Oh God, uh, one of the one of the funniest things in the world. It's just like, God damn it, why do you like my shit? <laughs> oh fuck, like, I, I think, I don't know. I'm, I. I get it now. I get. I get it now. I think. I think I, I, a lot of the yeah. people that follow me, I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're a tur- if you're a turbo coomer and you follow me, I don't like you. I don't like you. What a, uh, one of my fu- favorite things about your account is like you probably have like a bunch of like egg accounts that are all just like middle aged gay men, but you just po- you just post about like shitting out of your dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh. It's just so good. Like, yeah, I'm, uh, it's, it's... I'm gonna do diarrhea out of my dick. <laughs> I posted, like, the most middle school. Just, <laughs> I posted a massive Twitter thread about diarrhea. It's <laughs> so good. I was just, like, laughing so hard thinking about, like, you got, like, what, 500 new followers up in that pic? And let the, the first thing they see is like, yeah, I'm about to shit out of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
It's, it's, you know, <laughs> I'm sure some dude was probably going through my account getting real horny, real, real quick. Ooh, ooh. I started posting about, like, I, I, I didn't lose anybody with that. I gained followers. What? What's wrong with people? What's wrong with people? They love the content. That's what's wrong with, that's what's wrong with them. Dude, I'm, I'm so close to 5,000 again. I'm gonna, sh I'm, I'm, I, uh, I need to get back up to, uh. To, to fucking 8,000. Yeah, oh. I, was, I was so close to 10. I was so close. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. God. I, you know. Go for it, Twitter bro. took me off because I was cheating. Uh, you was you cheating were too powerful. Far too powerful. God. <sighs> uh, I, I think. Oh, I think the game just crashed. <laughs> oh, of course it did. Because it's fucking New Vegas. It's New Vegas, baby. <laughs> New Vegas, baby. Oh, what's your opinion on like, um, like the de degradation of artistic value? I guess I, I don't. Well, no, that's not how the prideful is. The degradation like, um, of artistic you, value. You know, like uh, you know, art artists like online, right? Mm. You follow like some some like pretty, and and like okay. you know, I think a lot of them very creative people. Yeah. But there are certain ones that I won't name names because I don't want to be a dick. Yeah. yeah. But that are literally their entire career mm. is based off of animating and like drawing memes. Oh. Like, I feel like that would make me want to kill myself. That's, I, I, I don't think I would want to do you're, that. You're making, the artist, you're making the artistic equivalent of popcorn. That would kill me. Yeah. That it, would be the worst it thing. Be dead in a week. If my, if my yeah, shit if, was, if, nobody will want this shit. if my creative passion, my output was disposable, I would just feel awful. Oh god. Ugh. By the way, um since you were asking about uh getting color schemes for your art, have you are you familiar with Aiden Hughes, the, the KMFDM artist? Uh you I I did him, Google, I did yeah, Google time. Aiden Hughes KMFDM. That <gasps> Oh shit. That dude. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I have I have some I dude, I have a fucking story. Okay. Yep. Um so there's this guy who I used to be when I was pretty small and I only did art stuff. Uh, I used to be mutuals with them. Um, yeah. And I'm so glad that you told me that because I thought he was just jerking me around. But he made pretty cool art. He still does make pretty cool art. His art is very much kind of like this. Mm -hmm. Um. And and we followed each other and we talked about art and like he, he, we talked about like, like wood graving stuff mm -hmm. and like the you know just that kind of I don't know yet yeah, that kind of art and. Uh, and he wanted me to do some shit for his webcomic. And I was like, wow, that's fucking awesome. Because his art's, like, great. His art is incredible. Yeah. I will say that much. His art is fantastic. And I and I did uh, a poster. In the, I did a couple posters, actually, in the background of his webcomic. Yeah. And uh, I, I went back to his account. And he started posting, like, not shit. And I realized that his, uh, his I thought, I thought his webcomic was about, um like the like that kind of shit being bad oh <laughs> like like fascist shit being bad because i hadn't read it oh no just, like, oh no it was like a pro, bro it was a it was like a pro like nazi thing oh like, no i was like oh oh i'm I... gonna be a part of this forever yeah bad. fucking <laughs> hell oh god just like, ah, oh, no, I'm going to back out of this. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be a part of this anymore. Rocky, why do you keep inviting Nazis on? I'm sorry, guys. Bailey, can you do a can you do a donation drive? Can you? Of course. Hey, guys, please donate to the stream. Uh, I will put all of my nudes back up. Oh no, <laughs> Bailey's going to post all. <laughs> if, you, if we get, if we get, a, if we get a. Uh, a sub a sub train going we'll we'll get all that shit put back up <laughs> i'll put i'll fuck it oh god have you how long have you got Bailey? like 10 more minutes or are you gonna like uh i got like five more minutes all right yeah we'll probably just like chill here for a little bit we still don't have that maid pig bailey's a bailey's a busy boy let's give him time i all right okay fine i'll do the fucking maid pick i'll do the maid pick tomorrow I'll, okay? oh my god everyone we have confirmation <sighs> we have confirmation of the maid pick Ugh. Oh, this, God. This, 
this, this ASMR of you firing posts off into like the void. You just you see. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna. Uh, you guys should follow Ivan Almighty on. I'm talking to him right now. He's this animator. He's really good. Yeah. Um. Uh. But. I. What the fuck was I talking about? I'm fucking mate. Mm. Maids. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> that was creepy. That was, <laughs> I was like right in my that ear. Not the right <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Was, Go for it, bro. Was, uh, <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up, dude? Uh, this is <laughs> ASMR shit right now, bro. Loud is funny, is what I'm always saying. Loud is indeed funny. <laughs> um, please subscribe and. I'll get, uh, ooh, you want to subscribe so bad. <laughs> you want to subscribe so bad. Wait, no one's something. Everyone's just like, what is this? Once I snap my fingers, you'll sub and also calm your pain. <laughs> you will I calm. I have only been told of this. I'm gooning to Bailey. Don't do that. <laughs> don't goon on, don't goon on me, son. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm cooing. Pay pick hypnosis. I love that, like, the sissy hypno community was just devastated overnight by Pornhub going down. <laughs> just, just like. <laughs> Just like going through withdrawal, every computer science department in America is like empty. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. Hey guys. Um, I don't know. Just like subscribe or something. Uh, weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Great library of Alexandria of sissy hypno videos. All right. We'll wind. We'll, uh, uh, listen, we'll, the, the lisp thing is kind of making it super fucking hard to do any voices. That's so fucking funny. Without it sounding like I'm a repo. But you can do the AAV voice. That's the only voice that Bailey can still do. Is, is the black voice. <laughs> hey, yo, man. Subscribe. Anyway. Anyway. Um, All right. Fucking cancel. Alright, we'll wind down, gamers. Thank you for coming. Um, if you're new here, hit the follow button. Uh, go to youtube.com slash kimono friendzone. That's... Oh, we got a sub. That's where all the good shit is. youtube.com slash kimono friendzone. We'll be uploading this VOD later. Uh, we've got our Yik playthrough. Go watch that. And say thank you to Bailey. Bailey, say good... Okay, say good night. Good night, guys. <laughs> Well, go everyone. Look forward to the uh, maid pick, and we'll be sure to have Bailey. Do you have anything you want to show, Bailey? Uh, follow me on Twitter at Punished Post. My old one got deleted, so if you think you follow me, you don't. And then you know, just uh, yeah, just go follow the new one. Uh, you guys are cooler. So uh, I'm. You guys are all cool people. I hope you have a, a good a good night's rest. Um. <laughs> You're all very sweet people, and uh, Rocky's really cool. And I like talking to him. Thanks, bro. Cheers, bro. Have a good Christmas, you, uh, Bailey, old boy. Yeah. And everybody in the uh, in the chat, have a good Christmas. All right. Have a merry Christmas, guys.